We having sex with nobody. Mm-hmm. That shit was fire. What song is that? That's, that's, the, that's uh, that. Bro, Kanye what she said? She said they hit Nicole body. That's a new. Mm, hold on, man. Nah, Nikki kind of snapped on it. Like I was on Twitter, I was like, "What? A Nikki verse?" That Did I you listen to the whole thing on uh-huh. YouTube? It's all on YouTube. Nah, I listened to the uh, the somebody sent it to me on Dropbox. Oh, oh yeah, <sighs> track by track. Welcome to the fourteen twenty three TV, the podcast, the return. Yeah, after a week. <laughs> yeah, your magnificent host, Chase the Dark Sage. Oh, yeah, she said, You ain't fuck me, you fuck the old body. You ain't fuck Nikki, you fuck Nicole body. Hey. Mm, nasty. Little bar work. That was Chase, bar. you don't like that because you're a hater, bro. No, Nicole, because she's sorry, she, Nikki, she disrespecting Nicole, Nicole Bexley. Hey. Shut the hell Hi, up. Hi, I'm Tevin. It's Nicole Minaj. Hey, it's your boy. Or when Kanye said body look like Don Perignon, don't pee me no attention, go on carry on. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Excuse me real quick, I would like to announce the rules for this podcast. The first person on this podcast to say something of a homosexual nature. Or activity. Has to pay five dollars towards a podcast. Huh? You gonna hear it? You gonna hear the activity? Cause we gonna be like, what are you doing? Yeah, we like we, we usually. Nigga, if one of y'all does some wash it, I will let the fans know. Yeah, cause Jorge's always, you know. I, 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 I could super. I couldn't be gay if I if I tried. All right. And yeah, you try all the time. Nah, nigga, I succeed. Oh, nah, <laughs> see, oh, first gay thing. That's not gay. First gay thing. No, no, we're talking about the past. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. You lucky. Uh. Quick, Quick hits. hits about, wait, first of all, I like to say we are now a podcasting network. We have more than well, we have more than two podcasts, aka three. I hate when video games do that when they say more than fifty six characters. It just be like fifty seven or fifty eight. Right, yeah. But we have three podcasts. This podcast that you're currently listening to, yep. the Light Bright Podcast, Jorge. co-hosted by Ruby Kane and what's Versace. Yeah, uh, I'm really about carrying sports. this entire network. Y'all niggas need to get some shit together. So uh, shut it's up. It's just the god right now. You know what uh, I mean? Shut up. And hey, we got the five me. minute podcast. Nigga, I'm like fucking. What's Versace? Only. I'm like good music. They needed Kanye to do anything for Boy, a long shut time. Shut up. But nah, hey, I'm in talks with my my partner. Uh, Joseph. Oh, oh, I'm trying to talk to him. Nah, that's gay. We doing a couple of no. His partner, no. Joe. No, 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 no. Come on, man. No, he's he's talking, life partner. He's talking about Joe, the manager, bro. He's talking about the supervisor. Nah, especially with how that's Joseph, be, Joseph be talking. He get, no, Joseph's go- no, me and Joseph's going to drop this conspiracy podcast. This shit's going to be crazy. I told, hey, let me I told him. He's like, he's like, hey, you know, I'm trying to get a second job. <laughs> yeah, but he's a nigga. Shut up. You ain't got a second job. It's going to be on off days, bro. Wait, you doing a conspiracy podcast? Yes. He. I huh? need to be on that. Oh, yeah, you got. Hey, but I, he's gonna be on that sand shit. I'm debunking this shit. Even I, 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 I told him. I told him. I said, "Listen here, you tinfoil hat wearer." Boy, I am ready because this boy, <laughs> this boy be talking today. He was just. Hey, going. nah. Joseph quote of the day: Keep the balance. Seek the balance. Hey, nah. Joseph quote of the day: Staying two hours over his scheduled time. No, because that nigga came to work at six. He called out the other nigga. Got six points, bro. Mm. Oh, he gonna get fired. Hey, you think you think Mario was a nigga? Payne was talking about that had fifteen points. No, that was Maurice. Uh, who's Maurice? Oh, the damn, old head. He had sixteen, boy. Wait, who's Maurice? Oh. The old head. He was a black, the black, black guy, guy that used to work in produce. Oh, yeah. the one that Maurice. He had sixteen. Wait, the weird one that nah, was telling you cool, about his, his cool girl. OG nigga. Nah, this nigga. Oh, the cool nigga. Yeah, the cool yeah, cool nigga. nigga. Hey, whatever happened hey, to the other dude though? Which one? Oh, the weird one. The one that he got like a nineteen-year-old pregnant. Oh, that nigga dipped. What? Damn. He came off in Walmart the other day with his girlfriend. Mm, was that she young? Nasty nigga. Nah, she was about his age. That bitch was ugly. Nigga gave up. Uh, what was that noise you just made, Chase? I said, mm, because you said ugly girlfriend. Nah, five bucks. That's no, <laughs> I said he said ugly girlfriend. He I said, said girlfriend. Mm. A girl is involved, so no money is involved. Uh, exactly. All right. Hey, Quick nigga, Elton John was involved with a girl too. Look at where Don't he Elton John got kids? <laughs> nah, he never had a kid. They was just married. Damn. Speaking of Elton John and gay shit, y'all see that Paul Mooney shit, bro? What are you talking about? Uh, with him, they say he fucked uh, Richard Pryor's son, yeah. Richard Pryor Jr. Wait, what happened? Yeah, they tell my all right. Paul Mooney, yeah. It didn't really tell me. Paul Mooney supposedly, allegedly smashed Richard. I mean, Paul Richard Pryor's kid at a young age. But he just like 
He just been hospitalized a couple days ago, like, and all his shows been canceled. Wait, Richard show. Pryor's son? No, no, uh, M- Paul Mooney. I was about to say, who going to see Richard Pryor? I don't know. Son? No, but Paul Mooney's a gay nigga, though. Like, come on. Bro. Like, remember nigga him at? Remember uh, Richard Pryor's son at the at the Apollo? Oh, when they booed that nigga? They got him the fuck out of there. Well, nobody cared to Richard Pryor. Right, that nigga Jr. was not funny at all. At all, bro. Get the fuck off the stage. Boo your ass. Get out of here. Did they? <laughs> Hold up, bro. No nigga. No nigga. Wait, I said boo your nah. ass like get off the stage. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Let's oh just keep, let's keep going. No, I'm gonna let it ride. I'll let oh it ride. Oh my god, that is not gay. Whatever you say, dog. Oh god. Yeah. It's crazy how Nobody. we having this thing about like not saying gay shit. And we got into some gay shit. Like that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got it. No, 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 no. It was a tie. Wait, you think Paul Mooney's guilty? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, back in the 60s, those niggas fucking pop a quaalude or do anything. Yeah, this nigga kids. said, uh, one lady they asked, she was like, you do crack, niggas see like a sexy looking Sea League fan and go to work. Oh, like, tell you niggas is weird. Like, bro, Quincy Jones, the guy said, or they were just fucking. Man, crack. fuck Quincy Jones. Nigga, fuck you, bro. I hope that nigga dies tomorrow. Why? Because he's a snitch. Bro, just nigga he- publicly out in your homie after he dies, that's fucked up. Like when you die, I'm not gonna tell your girl and your son Tevin Jr. <laughs> that you used to be a fag back in the day. <laughs> oh God. Hey man, hey, I everything I ride. did was in the open, and I never did nothing gay. So. <laughs> nah, he saved himself with that one. He what saved you himself. About? Yeah, <laughs> he said everything I did was in the open. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're you're out here. Was it was not. Mm-hmm. Hey, wait, yo, Tevin, let me tell you about what this nigga Joseph did today, bro. What he do, bro? So this nigga was doing compost, right? Mm-hmm. And he was fucking weighing the compost with the fucking scale with the where the bananas was. The banana scale, like outside, where, like, that on the floor. No way. Yes. <laughs> no, y'all I'm, lying. I, I that nigga's a I fool. Looked, I looked at him. I'm like, Joseph, what are you doing? <laughs> he just kept running back and forth. The nasty <laughs> compost into that. <sighs> nah, at first I ran into him because Dale. Uh, that's Joseph, so he's gonna have to take care of that. I'm like, all right, cool. I went to Joseph. You know, uh, Dale said that that's your uh, compost. Uh, car right there he's i said he's like, oh yeah oh yeah all right i said are you gonna do it <laughs> probably not i said i went over there i said i'm not doing it so you better Nigga, why it why does your joseph voice sound how like javante sound no nah, it wasn't as joseph <laughs> no, i was gonna say that sound like javante how you just talk nah javante sounds like this yeah exactly that would say i would nah, i probably didn't but javante uh i would <laughs> yo javante said some wild man, shit dog. the other day wrong with javante bro the nigga's such dog no, what happened? He permed it. He, uh, he, 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 hey, no, hey, B. He looked like Xavier from he back then. No, he, he yeah, but he only. Had, look, he had the whole, he got the only the back, off. though. I was like, bro, why y'all just cut that shit off, bro? Yeah, that's what I was telling him, too. He was like, nah, I gotta get my waves. I was like, all right. <laughs> all right, my nigga. But anyway, hey, shout out to homie Javante. Seeing that man in the Chick fil A spot with some hoes. Moving on. Travis Scott documentary. Anybody watch? Anybody besides not. Tevin watch it? Yeah. All right. Hey. What did y'all think, fellas? Uh, it was cool, man. Just uh. Um, what? You know, because he, uh, he was performing. There was like ten people. Oh yeah. <laughs> In 2014. Are oh, you talking about funny. that old video? Yeah, yeah that shit was like, funny as fuck. Everybody, put your hands up, niggas. They was. <laughs> hey, that's why that. Was like, he was why like, that damn, bro. Ain't nobody there, bro. <laughs> No, no, they just shit. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Like, bro, it just made me, uh, uh, just him, it, it going back to like him being in Houston and shit. And I don't know, just seeing places and shit. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I don't know. It just, I'm like, damn. Like, was he in Sugarland? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you never really get to see like how he acts like outside of like. And then seeing niggas pass out like they was at a Michael Jackson concert had me dying. That shit was weird. Them two niggas, get him up here. Hey, hey, them niggas just. I'm like, man, and then the niggas, thumbs up, let me see if you okay. I'm like, all right, Travis. You had bloody, I'm like, bro, yeah. what the fuck y'all really doing? Nah, but then that nigga, uh, now that nigga did something that I was like, it kind of throw me off. I'm trying to remember. I just had it on my mind. But anyways, the nigga, I don't know, like, when when he uh was at the hospital and shit, that shit kind of kind of touched me, bro. I'm like, hey, I might be going through that soon, you know what I mean? Well, now I might. I, I am, my bad. Damn, man. Well, I'm just saying. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't like I'm trying to kill the kid. <laughs> but nah, but nah, that shit was kind of uh, kind of cool. And uh, seeing Kanye pop up, because I don't know, I like that car, uh, the, the fucking Tesla he has. Yeah. That shit, that shit's hard. Yeah, I, I need me a Tesla. Tesla. Now he got the SUV joint with the destructive, like, oh, that shit's fly. My bad. That shit clean as fuck. 
Yeah, uh, that nigga, bro. Funny like under yeah. yeah legend 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 no, <laughs> legend. no. they bring Bumby the, was they bringing a theme park back to houston but they've been talking about this shit before travis yeah. they they was gonna put that it's supposed to have been like in walla county because they supposed to have been in the universal studios around there well all i gotta say is if this nigga re- can record through a microphone and a towel over his head yeah, you can do that shit. then anybody can fuck no, it's, shit. well they have like yeah, bro, you saw was. that it was a big open room like this. Yeah, but they got that it big ass. Like, he got that big ass thing in there. That big ass fi- what the big ass things called like them filter things up under that yeah. towel. Yeah, that's what's up under that bitch. Oh, that's when they be recording in the house. Wiz do that shit. Doctor Dre used to do that shit. Oh, bro, y'all should check out the documentary. It's a lot of cool that? footage. That bystander shit was hard when them niggas got that uh, shit together and yeah. Juice World on that hell. That shit was hard. And then he I'll put Dun. Hey, day. I don't know that one song they put up. They played a Dun Tall, but that shit was heat, bro. Oh, like the bro. first one, they was just off of the yeah, studio, and Travis, like, cause Trap, that shit was heat, bro. Done. I can't wait till this nigga album come out, bro. But he did like a section of his artists, Shaq West, Done. That's it, right? Just yeah, them two. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, didn't done. he have a uh, what's his name? Yeah, Smoke Smoke Perp. I think just did one thing with him though. Oh, okay, just cool. that first the day. Cause that nigga sucks. Yeah, I'm good off that. But that Done Tolliver shit gonna be heat. Goat. Nah, that nigga's fire, bro. When's his next tape coming out? Who done? Yeah. He said, uh, he didn't say what, but it should be coming out. This I've been year. running all the Lucy's lately, just wait. Yeah. He put out a new one out of uh, like a couple week or two ago. Key. That's just heat. I don't like that one where he sounds like <clears throat> Travis on it. Well, with me, is it with me? The newest one with the red cover? Yeah. That I one. like that. Huh? Yeah. He sounds like too much like Travis to me. He doesn't have his own unique sound to it to me. On oh, that song? Nigga, that's Travis. Travis now just sounds like a broke down Drake if we keep it in a stack. What? With, with heavy auto tune on it? <laughs> Wait what? Wait, I don't get that She's one. Sweet. Yeah, I ain't, you ain't gotta get it, nigga. Shut up. I'll kill you all. I don't know. I'll slime you all. But I don't know. I like the documentary. Of all. Like, it was cool. I'll check it out this week. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, oh, like Chase, it. real quick. Do you want to give your bad review of so much fun? You didn't talk about it last week. Oh yeah, you listen. I didn't say it was a bad album. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, but give your reviews. We and Tevin talked about it. I said that the album, nigga, maybe someone he, in the the listeners wants to hear what you thought. Oh, okay, <laughs> go ahead, Negro. Okay, so look, what I think about the album. Album was at eight, eight and a half. I mean, it's fire, nigga. No, I didn't say it was bad. Well, yeah. you're talking there to was the guy who the- said that an eight out of ten movie is mid. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, was wild right. with that. <laughs> the album's all right. No, if you say Young Thug's album's all right, you should give it a six. Eight point five. That's nah, just damn near a classic. It. I'm failing it. Eight point five. Well, now you're good. feeling it more. So no, I'm failing it. Then if I do that, so you listen to it? Well, my the whole thing? No, not at all. I have no need to listen to the whole thing. All right, again. so wait, wait. So if you do rate something, what would you rate it for replayability? Out of like one and ten? Yeah. Please stop. We already got <laughs> copyright strikes. <laughs> <You don't. laughs> like hey, like, Tevin, that part with the Cartier on Thug How you want to my opinion but want to do everything else? You know the part where Thug rapping on hot and then his other voice comes in? Yeah. When he's like, Cartier did that. So good. But never mind. Go ahead, bro. Sorry. That, me and Tevin like Kane was just I, talking about that, just nerding part, out bro. over the goat. That shit was heat. Well, go ahead, yeah. Chase. Replayability ain't nothing for me. There's songs I'll go back to, but me actually listen to the whole album? No. How many whole albums right, do you so ever re listen to? Albums, How many whole albums do I re listen to? Most of most play albums play? I like. Or no? Well, when I, put, when I put albums in my list, that's my replayability. Wait, wait, wait. Because I like Decided. I always listen to that in the whole. That Young Boy Project. Uh, wait, Decided? I, yes. Yeah, you're on drugs. Riller was good, and I listened to that multiple times all the way through. No, Reeler is a good album to read. I decided I got like five skips on it. No, it don't. Yes, it do. What five skips does it have? Big no. Uh, no, that album has how many songs are on that album? Uh, twelve. So it might be so twelve, 12 skips. skips. Yes. <laughs> now, but Wait, look, you I said can, you like moves. Like I can I got have the a. Moves. You do too. I got the song, moves. Like and like and my rating moves. system. Like it could be an album better than an album, but if I listen to it most, that means I enjoyed the album the most. No mean it's better just because I listen to it the most. Yeah, Young Thug album, I listen to it every day. Like. Like I've probably listened to Dirty Money more than UGK, but UGK the album is better, a better than Dirty album, Money. Yeah. I feel because Dirty because UGK is super long. But I just don't understand you giving it an eight point five. I'm grading it like A B C D E. I mean A B C D E. But if it's mid tier, it's six B. It's B. It's it's B. It's mid. It's B is a. not mid. It's a, it's, a, it's a B grade. It's mid. Oh my no, god. No, because look, okay. With I think numbers, you don't know what mid. You have, look with numbers. You got one through ten, right? 
Yeah. And we're like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, how about this? I'm on a grading system then. How about that? Well, then you can't call it mid. When you say it's eight, you got to get lower then. You got to go lower, B. No, it's. I'm saying it's a good album for Thug, but for me, there's no eight point. All right, bro, look. So what is Barter 6? 8.5 is a top tier album. Yeah, what is what is Barter 6 like, to you? Out of all the albums that are released, For Thug, probably nine. like 5% of albums are like a 9. He said Barter, Barter 6 is a 9. That's Inca- fair. Yeah, okay. Wait, but, so you that is a 9, but eight, that's a 8. So, 5, so no much way. fun is mid in an 8.5? That's why I understand, B. 8, 8.5, yes. Yeah, let's move on. Because when I heard, hey, hey no, get, look. But you don't try to explain hey, it. Jorge, it doesn't make sense. Look, take, all right, let's say, let's remove. Because this is the thing, this is the thing. There's some really good songs on there. Which puts it at nine something, but then all the songs I don't like brings it down. Oh, this one for the say, Jorge. If you take out the least favorite songs of the album, how many tracks would you have on the on the Young Thug album? Uh, Look at the, Jorge's opinion. Not how mine. many yeah, say? No, there's Jorge. nine, seventeen. See, that's too much Young Thug for me. Because I'm only taking out Submate, which is awful, and Boy Back, which is even worse. It's crazy how some people love Submate, and I don't understand. Oh yeah, a lot of people like Submate, I do. Yeah, I but they're like mostly it. future stands, and they don't really use their brains when they evaluate music. Which is me. It sounds like when I listen to it, it sounds better in the car. <laughs> che- yeah. In the car, it sounds better, but like when I listen to it with like headphones, it's nothing. Hey, does this sound better with headphones, yeah, Shaq? Hold on, right? What happened? Oh yeah, that nigga do like blue face. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this: Blueface or Nav? Blueface, uh, Blueface baby. Nah, hey, playing. hey, Ray, Ray, Blueface baby. <laughs> I rather listen to Blueface than Nav, bro. Hey, I. Right, I'm not baby. talking about. Hey, when did no hey, hey Tevin? You said Freddie Gibbs uh, bandana wasn't good because hey, it wasn't Tev, on Tevin, radio. Tevin, do Blueface I, got? No, no, look at his face. Look at that face. Ray is, but Ray got do, the do, That's Hey, do Blueface got a better bar than got rapidy rack rack racks in my secondy sack sack sack? Yeah, hey. I need, a, I need a Brown Black back, 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 to play back. with my Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I would actually rather listen to Nav than Blueface because that nigga's oh, Blueface is like a zero just, out of ten. Nav is like I rather listen to Nav than Blueface. Nav is like a three out of ten. I rather listen to Nav than Blueface. Like he has car, he got, Nav Nav like he, has car, he got car sick. He got car sick and wanted you. That's two more good songs that Blueface had. Car sick is fire, bro. Facts. Just because of Gunner, really. Nah, that I was blowing all this shit like him with a fun oh, drip, drip. Even though that nigga has no Why drip. Why you make him sound just so corny? Nigga, that's what his voice <laughs> sounds like. His Bro, his pitch, is, his pitch is so high, he sounds like a female. Nah. It's crazy how, like, the Nav that's like the Super Toronto Raptor fan is more popular than the Nav the rapper, though. That's fucked up. Y'all know who Nav is? Oh, yeah, that nigga with the, the super uh, fan. Yeah, with the fuck, yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, nah, his interview getting Like, hits. when people say Nav, he pops up instead of the rapper. <laughs> And he owns a car dealership. It's fucked up, bro. But yeah, I'm saying, I, I, I like Barter. Type in Nav navigation system pop up and shit. I like Barter Six more than so much fun. <laughs> I like Barter Six more than. So oh, much me fun. and Tevin was. T- I mean, not me and Tevin. Me and Kane was talking, and as the resident Thug fans, it's his best project since Slime Season Three. And that Tevin was, agreed. That Slime Season Three was after Barter Six, right? What was? Yeah. Beautiful Thug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slime Season Three. Facts for sure. I didn't like Slime Season Three. I went to, back to re-listen to it. Mm-mm. I can I can get yeah, it. Let's move, it. Let's move on. Hmm? I don't know. It's like the, the Young Thug so, uh, albums that's a See, I like Slime Season love. 1. I like them albums. I like 1. I like 2. Like I like Barter, Barter 6. six. One, 1, 2, 3 I like of Slime Season. Eee. Beautiful Thugger Girl is all right to me. Uh, I didn't really rock with that one like that. It's a good attempt, but yeah. it's not right. Ra- this is the first rap I like album Jeffrey. in like two What's and a half. I like Jeffrey. I was high on Jeffrey at first, and then it kind of like went down for me. It's still good. But yeah, no, that, bro, before this, that was his last rap album. That yeah. album came out like two and a half years ago. 2016, right? Not 17. 17. Yeah. Jeffrey, I was fucking with Heavy, bro. But and yeah, because like after that. I that song with him and Young Scooter on there. See, that, like when we was talking about how he fucked up his wave. That was like when his wave was at his highest with Thugger Girls. He right. should have dropped a rap album instead yeah. of what he dropped. But he said his next two projects gonna be more rap, right? Yeah. Which I mean, this so was wanna... a this was a turn to form. Yeah, it was, and it gave me kind of a mixtape feel. Cause like, bro, I swear, bro, I was just like, what this Man. album? Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. I said the first half felt no, the first half no, the first third feels like an album. The middle half sounds like a transition. Then the third, the, the third, third sounds like bro, a, uh, the first, a like mixtape. The first eight tracks, bro. Because to me, that's when the th- when the third, third when came on. Spot. That's when I started really bumping, bro. Like the first eleven or twelve tracks, eleven tracks was just fucking except for something. Everything I was just like, damn. That first track was stop. boring to me. Nah, it, it was like, too like, long it, to it me too. Cool, I mean, 
mean? And it was too long. Something made kind of like, oh, you know what I mean? But everything. Nah, that was a nice second. I track. like the first nah. song more in retrospect, and the more I listen to Sub Bait, the more it doesn't make sense all that. Yeah. Like Ecstasy, he just did that because him and Future hot, are friends, it, and he wanted light to stream. Bad, bad. So it makes sense, but you know, still. And I was gonna sleep OG. on this album, bro. I was not gonna listen to this shit until like I don't know next year, bro. I was just like, fuck it, I'm about to click it. No, hey, because I like to see what albums. Tevin, what what does it mean when he said, "I'm Marshmallow, so you can't see me on a I don't on, on Big Tipper"? Because me, I mean, Kane was saying, and I think he's right. He was saying this because you know Marshmallow the DJ. He be wearing that that mask. Oh uh, yeah, he probably was talking so about you him. can't see him. Mm. But Young Thug say some shit. What that nigga said about I I be I get so hot somehow I might fuck the condoms. <laughs> oh no, he said I'm too geeked up about my fucking condom. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck? Nah, the best one is when he said. <laughs> I'm so horny because I'm booling in a bull store. <laughs> <laughs> no, what that nigga said he left the jail. Or hey, what's that lie you told me he said about how he left jail and had three bitches? <laughs> oh, yeah, he said, I just went to jail yeah, for a week and got to these new bitches. I was like, whoa. And Kane was like, maybe three women came to visit him while he was in jail. <laughs> Hey, what about See, when you said y'all, y'all can't Bro, real. what about when he said she so tired had to figure her shit with a stick? Yeah. Oh yeah, he had to figure that stick with a stick. I was like, oh my god. Bro. Hey, he, that's two stick bars on this album? Bro. No, I, I only wore the, that dress to hide my stick. Yeah, I had Come to wear the dress to hide my stick. That's heat. Hey, Thug has some lines. Bro. Yeah, that's a god right there. But anyway. No, but I've been still jamming the Snow Allegra album. Fucking Kill, kill them all album. This shit is heat, bro. Mall dropped wait, an wait, album. Wait, wait, no, kill them all, bro. Boy, y'all, y'all, y'all ready to go to the music, the music session of the podcast? Wait, we didn't talk about Kanye's album Mike be coming out this month. Yeah, Kim well, posted some shit. It said September twenty seventh. I think he's dropping uh tracks of his um Sunday service. That's what I think too. Yeah, because it says that it looked like Chances on it, yeah. and I, think I hope I think that on like his a, real album Chances not on it. Right, I think it's just to be like a live audio version. I think that should be heat too. Like I'm but, glad Kanye wasn't on Chance album as well because. Thank you. Why? Because Chance is awful and everyone should stop he's working. Bad, he's not a bad rapper. People should, he is now. He's not a bad rapper. He was never a good rapper either. He's an average Oh, I rapper. forgot to ask y'all. It said one of these tapes got to go. It was Dream Chasers 2, Monster, Acid Rap, and what was the fourth tape? Think of it quick because I already got somebody that's been yeah, the fuck out of here. Acid Rap, here. get the fuck out of here. It's a good project. Oh, so far gone. So Acid yeah, Rap, get the rap. fuck out of here. Yeah, Acid Rap or uh, what was the first one? It was Dream Chasers 2, Monster, So Far Gone, Acid All right, well, Dream Chasers 2, Monster. Wait, Dream Chasers 2, So Far Gone, Monster, and then Acid Rap. Dream Chasers 2 is heat. I'd no, wait, listen, So Far Gone is about Dream Chasers 2 I'd rather listen to Monster out of all of them, though. You rather? Personally. I'd rather I'm listening to So Stand. Far Gone. Because that was my shit. I'm sorry. There's some parts in So Far Gone, sometimes it drags to me, like in the middle. Do you hate women? Yes. Yes. Oh, that makes sense then. Oh my god! Come on, bro. Uh, Shaq said he's Future. keeping Acid Rap number one. Nah. Future like evolved. Future evolved himself with Monster. Acid Rap is a really good mixtape. Wait, can I trade out Monster for Fifty Six Nights? Because I, I would do that. Crazy. No, it, it's way because because Fifty Six Nights is way better. Yeah. Oh, if right. you trade it out for Beast Mode, though, Beast Mode is out. Yeah, Beast Mode, get the fuck out of here. But I'll take Acid like, Rap like, over that. I like two songs on that. I rather listen to Beast Mode than Acid Rap. You're fucking kidding. Well, you're a stan. That's fine. Yeah, you're bugging. I still don't believe it. Nut hugging? You don't believe something. you don't believe I'll do that? Mm-mm. Yes, I would. Probably. I have way more listeners on Beast Mode than Acid Rap. I didn't say it was better, but Beast Mode, I'd rather listen to Beast Mode. Yo, who put these fucking albums in here? What albums? Me. Yeah, that little Fuck no. I was listening to that. Hey, I hey, hey, hurry. I was listening to it. I was about to put what the fuck? I was listening to that shit. Hey, 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 yeah, Nigga, that's I what the that's what the I'm fucker good. right because, there. Because see, I can't I can't say what the f I can't I wouldn't listen. I at least gave it a try. No, it's like you get that a try and that other shit. It's like just, what? Yeah, no. What, 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 what do y'all recommend me that I should give a try? You ain't no, listen. No, you ain't no, listen no. to Snow Allegra album, but you listen. To I didn't know. Who, I don't, wait, wait, stop. I don't know who Snow Allegra no. is. So you hey, check this out. What you roll up before we get into the review? What was the rating, nigga? And if it been an eight point five next to so much fun, I am falling out. What? what? I am gonna fall out. What's what the is rating? the fucking of rating Teca? of Lil Tecca, Tecca album? Watch this okay. scale, bro. Wait. Uh. So Lil Tecca sounds just like Nav, A <sighs> Boogie, and Speaker Knockers. Right. So two bad artists. Speaker Knockers, fire. That, yeah, he's the good one. Yeah. Who yeah. are the two bad ones? Nav, Nav and A and Boogie. A Boogie, bro. You think if you're gonna defend A Boogie on this podcast, yeah, I like A Boogie. We bro, are done here. To speaker Knockers, they fucking jerked him. Wait, you used to off. like A Boogie. 
I said I like A Boogie now. I was going to say, but remember, I'm saying, you, 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 could, you was trying to make me and Kane listen to A Boogie and Don Q. I said Don Q, nigga. I still remember you started playing that fucking Don Q song so you know and Produce, and I almost quit my job. <laughs> I like A Boogie, though. You would just chase me listening to Don Trip too. I don't listen to Don Trip. I know. No, I have to give his rating real quick. I need to him. see this. Go rating. ahead. Oh, the album fails. Mm -hmm. Damn. Bro, what's the rating? What's the rating? It fails. It gets an F. An F. So what is the rating out of ten? Let's show. Yeah, out of ten. Bro, go see. Like Seven point five. <laughs> I'm gonna come songs it's I bad, like bad, bad, bad. Because there's actual songs I like on there. You listen to Lil Brother album? Huh? You listen to Lil Brother album? I ain't listening to nothing this weekend. I was busy beating my meat. I feel you, boy. Bitch, I beat my meat. Gonna then until I'm asleep. Wait, I forgot how that song goes. Okay, that so song was hard, though. What the, uh, well, he says, I, I want to fuck Beyonce because I'm Okay, so it gets a 30. It, the album gets a 30. A three. A three. The album a gets three? a three. That's a, that's a Z, yeah. then. Yeah. Damn. Damn. It gets an F. It's they gave great. it a Z for a Z Z Z. But I'm saying hey. there's some songs on here. I know, I, do, I know, do, do, I know. Jorge listens to this. Beep, 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 beep. I ain't gonna play it because we might get beep, what's called. But I know you listen to the uh, Jorge. Yeah, you got that dope. You listen to Faded in the Booth, right? Who the young that? Nudie. The young nudie. Oh, uh, you no. didn't get to it yet. <sighs> I will. I have a review next week. Right. I ain't listening to nothing. I was in at home this week. All right, bro. We got us out on the street. We got, hey, get on that Faded in the Booth. Anyone listen to Bum B Day EP? I did. Did you like it? No, I did. <laughs> hey, I like Trill Static, so I'm not a hater or anything. I just, yeah, you know, it was straight. The bun. It was a day, and then you know, the day ended, and it became night, and I went the to buns sleep. Pee. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to slander that man because if it sounds like he didn't try very hard, I don't think hey, he I did. Lie, bro. Like, he just, this, I'm pretty bro. sure he just threw some music out there, bro. Let's be honest, bro. We, us in the hip hop community, are fucking like we're hoes, bro. We diss a lot of old niggas. I ain't gonna lie. I only want to listen to not many old niggas, bro. Well, I mean, the way I think it's like the artists, though, bro. Like we always listen, listen to it's like a young man thing, bro. If you're an old nigga and you out of the public eye, I feel like people will listen more. But since we all know what Bumby's doing, we don't really need to hear him rap because he's. We see him on TV teaching classes and stuff. That nigga's a rice, a, a rice. Yeah, yeah, like being gay with Aaron lie, bro. Foster. Big Daddy Kane drop an album, Rocky. I'm not listening to it. I listen to a Big Daddy Kane album just because he hadn't dropped nothing in a long time. I'm just saying, I'm not listening to it. Nah, I still listen to Rock Him. So I, you do? I don't. Yeah. Dun, dun, Only dun, old rapper, I ain't gonna lie. Dun, dun, I don't consistently dun, listen to him, but dun, it's dun, Ghost, dun, Ghostface Killer. Oh, yeah, no, I listen to anything Only, he dropped. Only Ghostface is the only rap, like Jay Z. But Ew. he's just always relevant. What about Nas? Who? Nas? No. Lost Tapes Oh, I finally listened to Lost Tapes 2. Trash. Shit should have stayed lost. You know what I mean? Just throw ways, though, put on yeah. the Let's Scott was hard, though. You can't lie. Uh, it, see, that doesn't work because Lost Tapes 1 is throwaways technically. That shit rag, is that's that gas. Shit. That Niggas say gas. that's a classic Nas project. That's a, that's, is it? Yeah. Yes. Do rag, I mean, it doesn't have no cohesiveness, but each song is like a 9 out of 10, so it works. That's why Lost Tapes 2 is a big deal. He did that fucking. See, somebody told me that wasn't, that was like an outlier and the album wasn't like. A lot of songs like that, and then I listened to it, and it was no Cream Bridge Politics is a really good song. No, yeah, there's a few good ones, but yeah, yeah no, there's just most of them's like, nigga, you're 50 years old, you still ain't really picking no good beats, brother. I bet they wouldn't even copyright Please strike. Don't ever play that on the podcast again, <laughs> nigga. They wouldn't even copyright strike. They're not gonna copyright because the like, niggas who work for Nas, they know nobody's listening to his music, fuck, so they're not bro. going to look. That's that Nas <laughs> and Al Jarreau. That shit is fucking horrible. Nah, he, what was he thinking? But uh, bro, it's crazy I how Lost like Tapes Two is even worse than Nasir, which was horrible. Nah, Nasir was horrible. I'd rather listen to Nasir than this. No, yeah, Nasir got uh, the one with Tony Williams is good. Hold up, hold up, I'm gonna tell you this, bro. First, listen to Nasir. Did it fake you? It faked me. I thought that shit was heat at first. Now, even when I first heard, I was like, 40 songs are good, 3D songs. The one, bro, the first listen, I heard him talking about fucking uh, the black dude finding fo found in Fox News, and then the fucking uh, what is it? The anti-vax shit, I was like, all right, here we yeah. go. But he, <laughs> this he, nigga's on this shit again. I'm not an anti-vax person, but I know some vac vaccines are bad and some are not. Oh, yeah, I'm no, not, I think you shouldn't like trust anti, anything yeah. the government gives you Right, right, right. So I'm just, just not foolish. that person that don't have, don't bring, no, like, like when they give a lot of people that be, like, anti-vax, they don't, like, lay down, like, foundation of, like, it's good ones and bad ones. Like, you know what I mean? It just, they just say, I mean, so it, it's yeah, just like, like a bad Yeah, like, there's no antibacterial like, testing for it. Right on. There's no, what's it called? What's the shit where they give you a fake medicine to see? Uh, placebo. Know. Yeah, there's no placebo test for those either. 
That's why niggas don't trust them. I see why. I mean, I'm a price to vaccinate my kids because I don't want to get measles or something like white children. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll let Tevin vaccinate my kids since he'll be, you know, Dr. Tev. No, oh, okay. Selling his, selling his off-white uh, supplements. <laughs> Te- wow. Tevin's going to be like Dr. Seven. What off-white years. supplements exactly? He's going to sell pills that are off-white color. Like Why are they off white color? Because he stole them from Virgil. Okay. Oh my god. Have a pill with the little orange strap on it. <laughs> Choke on that shit. Nigga, <laughs> pay fifteen dollars. Hey, fifteen dollars for a pill, boy. Should been on StockX, nigga. Hey. On StockX. Yeah, nigga, bro, when is yeah, Supreme yeah. gonna start selling Zans? Mm. Now, Supreme I really, Zan? I really wanted that Supreme break. I ain't gonna lie. I, I waited. I, all, the, I, wanted I waited all night. I wanted to throw it through somebody's window. Fuck no, nigga. I'm now I want to build a house, and the middle break is a Supreme break. Mm. Niggas so, be like, damn, sex. Y'all want to get to St. John's album? Listen to John's album? Me. I did. Oh, wait, what score did you give the Bun B album? Or, I mean, EP? Three out of five. Damn, that means it failed. I mean, it was an EP. It was some of them songs, because to me, some of them songs had too many features. I was like, uh. Yeah. Hey, that I, was, I really like the first a... track because at first when I first listened to the first track in the headphones, I was like, I'm not liking this. When I heard it in the car, I'm like, okay, it's different now. Yeah. The second track, I really like it. To me, that's the best track on the album. I check it out. It's in my. It's in I my mean, Trill Static had a lot of features, but I liked most of them. Well, I get the the moment for <laughs> Trill Static though, so I don't really. <laughs> hey, Ghetto Lenny. Hey, I like it. I like it. It's too. not better than Collection One, but at, at all. Yeah, hey, Ivan was talking about it at work. He said hey. he liked it. Yeah. Oh, oh, shout out to that boy Ivan. He has a podcast. Put out too. the pod. The DJ YT DJ Y T A L DJ Y T L. He the told DJ me he had to change his, he had to change his uh cover art and shit because uh Anchor uh told him about the Nike symbol and shit because they had like a Nike check on. Yeah. It. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, you know, told me like about that. that at work. Yeah, yeah, he was telling me about how he put episode <laughs> one in there and they don't want you to do that. And he cussed in his description. He had shit in there, so he had to switch that. Hey, but he Tevin, fixed you know thing. how, like, babies, you be, you're supposed to, like, uh, let them listen to Mozart and shit? Right. Would you listen to, like, your little son or daughter listen to Jero of rap in their headphones? No. <laughs> like, when my, like, me in the car. Why do you keep doing that? Like, even, That's like. That's an Now, for real, though, like, even right now, like, my girl pregnant <laughs> shit, like, I like to listen to, like. Uh, like, we in the car, like, R&B music and shit. Like, smooth shit. My kid to be, like, a real mellow nigga. Um, oh, he gonna be like Joseph? Uh, no, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but sometimes I bump some trap music around my little kid. You know what I mean? So it just hey, shit is gonna pop up. Tevin be putting JPEG Mafia on around. Of course. Cool like no, no, nah, boy. You should have heard what he said about your boy earlier. By JPEG? What? Yes. Fire. Wait, he about said, Junior? "Wait, I'm in a no home." Oh, world. JPEG. He said, mafia. "He said JPEG, ma- JPEG <laughs> Mafia." He has yeah. a song about how he would let a <laughs> no. fuck him in the ass. <laughs> See. Hey, that's a song that hey Peggy made the song. Damn, bro. Peggy, that nigga's hard, bro. Sorry. Hey, what do you think about hey, that? Pause, album? bro. Oh, Saint John, I liked his album a lot, bro. Not like a lot, but I liked it. You know, cool. I didn't like so it, it. Dragged to me in the middle. Yeah, when it I picks first back up to it. Like, yeah. But when I listen to it in the car, I'm like, the middle I could tolerate now, but it still drags yeah. a little. I go back to trophies. Trophies uh, is hard. I like that. Really I like. I like. I, I like. I want a yacht. What, oh, I like. Well, That's one with day. baby, right? I like that one. Too. Nah, trap. Oh, trap is with baby. What's one I want a yacht with? Who a yacht though? Baby, is he by himself? I want a yacht. Yeah. I know What's the it? song, but ain't somebody. No, it was him. He by himself. Monica Lewinsky. I'm not really feeling mm. a boogie part on that. Hey, that sounds like a song. Uh, some people like, like a boogie on there. Uh, High School Reunion. I feel like the album should have ended right there at that song. <laughs> Jorge. Sometimes I feel like I should be like a fucking. <laughs> right. Please stop. That song is hilarious. <laughs> Cause you ever know, like, be like, okay, you could have left this off. And I ever like listen to the album, like, and just be like, damn, bro, why you put this on here? Cause it kind of throws off the cohesiveness sometimes. Even though I don't want to keep. That's saying, why you like, need a good A and R. To me, yeah. the first three tracks, I'm like, to me, it was all kind of somewhat different. Even though they all had like a trap feeling, right? Oh, with the heavy 808s and all that. Please stop. Please stop. Run, 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 run. Stop. <laughs> I should, I should have never played it, bro. I'm that that song was fucking, cool. Stop. That song is fucking horrible. That's, that's all I hear him say. It. It's horrible, bro. Hey, man, it's fucking horrible, bro. That song is why racism exists. That song is fucking horrible. Anyway. Nah, but uh, overall, the project's cool. I'm going to give it a few more listens. You know. What would you give it, bro? Is it an 8.5? I'd give it a 7 for my first listen. So is that a good or mid? Mid. Wait, but it is eight. 
<laughs> bro, this nigga number system is horrible, bro. <laughs> That's what. It, hey, hey look. we need a segment. <laughs> Rate that. <laughs> Fucking Chase. Hey, Mid. Uh-huh. That's cool. Uh, this this is why me and Chase got an argument when I first when he said Spider Man Homecoming was mid, and I was like, "What?" And then he said, "Yeah, it's like an eight And I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that is an eight but an eight is not to me. <laughs> that shit is mid. That's just like a six. Well, you gotta think I'm going on a grading scale. Well, That's just like, a six. Eight turns into a B. What? A B yeah. is mid. Oh, but then we never went. Speaking of Spider Man, we never talked about how That's they y'all made a deal. Watch right? the movies again. Well, we we'll talk about that yeah. later. Nigga, watch the movie. What movie, nigga? Chase has to watch Spider Man Two and Far From Home so that y'all we could both, do that. Yeah, we both y'all could do it. Debate Mania again. Oh yeah, speaking of, I saw the version with the extended fight scene. Heat. You said it was the best live action Spider Man movie. I did. I stand by. To it. my homecoming. No, he I said mean, uh, uh, Far From Home. Far From Home. It only adds like two minutes, but I like the the scene very much. Anyway, how'd you see it, nerd? I went to the theater. They re released it. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> Jorge! <laughs> We're playing that shit at the end, bro. At the part, we got, I gotta let Shaq hit the whole song. Bro. Yeah, no, they wouldn't even dare copyright strike that bullshit. They not. They gonna... <laughs> okay. Music that we've been listening to lately. What y'all been listening to? Ooh. Bro. Yeah, I'm good. Go first. Uh, so, like, uh, I went, I never listened to it, but I listened to 21 Savage shit. Which one? The I Was. I Am, I Was. That shit I is Am Greater deep, Than bro. I Was. That shit is fucking heat. I thought, it, bro, that shit is pretty heat, bro. I gotta check it out. Man, I hate to me, that album. You listen to it. That's the T. That song is trash. That, 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 that song is. There's like eight or nine awful songs. Nah. The one with Childish Gavino doesn't make any sense as a song. I still like it, though. I like that. I like uh, Out for the, the Night, monster. Part 2 with Travis. I like Padlock, For Life. Man, that has some shit, bro. I never heard it. Bro, they got some shit that you want to, though. But it's not all good, but I fuck with it, bro. You know what I mean, bro? And then, uh... Shit, bro. That's really it, bro. And then just, like, my regular shit. Me? I be going back sometimes, bro. So, I got... I've been jamming, you know, Mad Lil, The Beat Conductor Part 2. BJ, The Chicago Kid. 11, 1123, yeah. And, um... Kind of went back the, a couple of days ago, listening to uh, Astro World a couple of times, and really I've been listening to Little Brother. The Minstrel Show is one of my favorites, and the Get Back. Yeah, after it made me want to listen to it some more, so I listened to it. I listened to Kill 'Em All, and then Snow Allegra album. Shit. Oh, the Cousin Stitz album too. He got some cool joints on there. I be I go back to it, but like that's pretty much it right now. Oh, and your old Droog album. I can't like. I know what people go through to make songs, bro, but I can't see how, like, they make this shit. What you mean? Like. You talking about, like, Travis shit? Yeah, okay, yeah. You talking take, about, like, just the foundation of making and building a song? Yeah, just it's like. It's based off an idea. Like, like. Like, when I first started making beats as a kid, not too much young, but, like, I don't know, I just hear a song or what? something. What you just reply to the pop? But it's like, bro, like, there's so many different flows, so many different, like, I shits replied to Tyson. that you can make go the song. Yeah. And it's like, bro, like you saying you don't know how, how would you like even ideas. choose the fl- like the flow, bro? Like, no, it's just really about the beat. Like when when, when when me and Chase when we used to be like uh looking at beats and stuff for last year, yeah. and like bro, then we was just like, all right, what flow can fit on here? It's just like we'll just you know, it just you feel it. It just comes out. Like you hear a beat, listen to it, and just the flow just it's natural if you just can really feel a beat. Cause some people just really can't just get in pocket with something or just feel it. And some people just, just can't do it. It's like how niggas can't dance on beat, like white folk type shit. But like, it's natural. It comes natural. Like, like different ways you can attack the beat. I don't know. I can do, I can't rap rap, but like I can mumble, I can, you know, mumble some flows together on a beat that I know that sound cool on. I don't know. It just comes natural because some people have a, a, a just a, a knack just to know like what, like, you know how you hear a beat and you be like, damn, so-and-so sound good on this beat. Yeah. That's basically what it is. So. Some people don't have that skill, bro. Like, it's dead ass people out there that be like, they put some niggas on the beat that I'm like, bro. Nah. Yeah, like whoever does A and R for QC, horrible. Them niggas, Them niggas just chunk nigga. each other on there. Nigga, if you go up to QC office and ask to be on their next album, they'll probably let you. Yeah, they probably will. <laughs> like, nah, you but, do this song with the baby, okay? Yeah, because it's like they just push it together. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like, oh, yeah. Did y'all to that, no, fuck no. That shit on that shit like eight, eight fucking discs. <laughs> nah, it's. Yeah. Didn't they have like a lot of songs on there? Okay. I'm good off that. But what you been listening to, Jorge? Uh, lately, I've been listening to some Nirvana. Which one? 
Oh, uh, Nevermind, and the, what's the other one called? What comes I'd never heard uh, the well, the last one. Oh, In Utero? In Utero, oh. I never heard that one before before this. But yeah, Nevermind, I always thought it was cool. Cool? I heard that Pusha T album. Yeah, you know me, I'm not a big Didn't rock guy. Nirvana's yeah. some of the rock music, though, I like. But most rock music is, is noise to me. That yeah, Coming Home cool. song with Lauryn Hill. Yeah. Uh, apparently her that uh, what's it called? Kanye finally got to make a song with her. Yeah. So hopefully that's on whatever he puts out. Uh, I heard that Babushka song, the ASAP Rocky one. Yeah. That song's ass. <laughs> I miss when that nigga used to be my favorite rapper. Yeah, I didn't listen, listen to. That. He used uh, to be your favorite. To, yeah, I used to say he was better than Drake and Kendrick. You know what's funny? I was looking at the discussion because you was you know. Giving ASAP Ferg, you know, so many disses the oh, other yeah, day. Oh, yeah, because he's fucking trash. I was looking at a lot of people was like, oh, ASAP Ferg will kill Rocky rapping-wise. Nigga, know. where were you? Where were you? Where did you see that discussion? Go ahead and tell us. Ready. Ready. Yeah. And and you YouTube. listen to the white people. And Please, no. Who's no. listening? Stop, 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 stop. He says I'm listening to them. All I did was just read it out. I've been, told, I've been told you that I like ASAP Ferg more than Rocky. Okay, well, let me tell you what that's, the, that's the equivalent of. That's the equivalent of going into a Put, room like, no, look. of niggas who hate comedy. See, he won't let me Jorge, Jorge, that's, Jorge, that's the equivalent of Jorge, asking Ivan do. and Tyson to talk about superhero me, movies do, when do, they both hate them. Do you rank rappers off their album when they did their best rapping? Or just like off certain verses and shit? I rap them off of their rapping ability they've shown over time. What about a whole... And ability to make a good an album. A good album. All right, cool. Put anything ASAP for it, put to Allah, nigga. Anything nigga, put anything he I put told you, to I like Fur. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't say he was a better. Oh. I'm just saying that. I he, thought you fit again. No, but this is the thing. He was just blowing him out the water like ASAP Fur can't rap at all. He can't. He can't rap? He's trash to me, bro. He can't rap. He, he just, just be on beat. He's like the baby. But Skinny nigga, but my dick long. <laughs> hey, Nobody gives a, a fuck about yeah, this. That's not a good uh, example. Bro. Let's do another one. ASAP Fur kind of like the baby. Like where he just he got that flow so people think Nah, but the baby be saying shit though. What has the baby? No, I'm saying he can say shit to street niggas and relate. It's just like little baby. Little baby can rap, but he hey, says that little baby shit. the baby song. Like gonna Not have good. like look that's look gonna have dope verses and shit. His but Gunna don't say shit. It's the same shit. Gunna's like ASAP for that look, makes sense. Look, baby, look, I see it. I look, see it now. Look, baby has both niggas to say. with flow who don't say anything. I don't think like Gunna. I don't think he's a street nigga. He just hung around street people. Baby is a street nigga. Like. He was in the streets. He been to prison. He done street shit. So niggas what? can understand this nigga. Gunna not saying shit. He just Ferg said not something gay. Shit. That wasn't gay. ASAP Rocky. What? No. ASAP Rocky has a, a, a range around him. Like fucking production wise, he makes beats. Just fucking like not even just storytelling. He's a but better a and He's just the be- he's just better around artists. And he can rap better than Ferg. Ferg just put songs together. That Big Sean song he got, bro. Ferg makes albums juice. with fifty. Big Sean and ASAP Ferg put a song out. That I shit's ass. Hey, every ASAP Ferg album got ASAP like Ferg, twenty features you my for boy. no reason. I, I got you back, man. He hit the problem. I, I, I said he was better than Rocky. No, the problem I had with so much fun is the problem I have with every ASAP Ferg album. What, what they could be problem? having like four niggas on every song. <laughs> yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, nigga, but Trap Lord Dead Ass has like thirty people. With so much fun, the features was fun. Yeah, no, I just like he didn't have more than one feature on most of the songs. Yeah. Except for MGK, get the fuck off that. Hey, I'm glad my my Apple Music some for some reason it yeah, shows his feature, it. but he's not on it. Because so. you probably downloaded it. Yeah, thank and God. And never went back to download thank the other one. Thank God. Yeah, but Kane was like playing it during the stream and it was the MGK version. Yuck. Yeah. Shout out to the boy Ruby Kane. No, no, no. That's but Ferg, I got your back, man. Yeah, that's a lot of back to have. Nah, but going back, like, never mind. Yo, bro. yo. That's because he's fat. No. Nah, see, yo, I see. Yo, I said, I got your back for here. That's a lot of back to have. Yeah, nah, I didn't say it like that. I said, that's a lot of back to have because he's fat. Come on, bro. Hey, hey, I get you, yeah, man. You're trying to get me in the trap. You know what? You might hey, be paid $5. Bro, what you been listening to lately? ASAP for him. <laughs> I listened to half of Floor Seats. I didn't get all the way through. <laughs> what, what album? <laughs> floor Seats. That EP, ASAP Ferg. That's ASAP Ferg. Yeah, his newest album, a straight. Uh, that's straight floor. <laughs> I feel like I haven't been listening to too much music <laughs> lately. Trippy Red Tear. <laughs> Nigga, yeah, Trippy Red been, new album was not good. I've been going back to Triller. His none of his Triller. albums are good, really. God forgives I don't. Mm. That's just he. Uh, that's what Dice Teflon Don. Oh, I listen to Teflon Don like every day. Because me and Ray Hat was having a discussion about Ross. And I was like, Teflon Don's probably is his best project. Do you agree with a uh, act that that's a classic and Take Care is not? Is that what he said? 
No, what he said was he said deeper than rap was is Rick Ross's classic, and Teflon Don isn't. No, but remember, he said something about Drake too. Said, there was like two points you told us that he said. No, what I said was DS two. Oh, he DS2 said DS two was wasn't a classic. a classic. That's what he said. Yeah, he said. Yeah, that's yeah. why he's, he said his mixtapes were all better than DS two. That's why he looked like a cheesecake. And he said deeper than rap was better than Teflon Don. I mean, Fifty Six Nights is better than DS two. No. Yeah, DS two three skips. See, you see, no, Seven, oh, no, I'm confused, he bro. said he, he said Barter Six was better than DS two. Nah, day. he was joking. No, nah, I man. even said that was a joke. Slime season one. No, nah, I I've been re-listening to the text. Wait, whoa, well, stop. What? Slime season one definitely is. No, thank you. No. I've been re-listening to this impact, podcast. No, less like, skips. No, right now I'm in like uh, the Young year 2015, and they talk about he talks about DS two. He's like, yeah, it's all right. This uh, tax stone because I ain't listening. To, I've been. Oh yeah, no tax stone. He don't like a lot of yeah future type niggas. Yeah, I've been. I go back and listen to podcasts sometimes. So I just went back, right? I've been listening to his shit, and like he was just like, it's a cool album, and I just can't. I just can't fathom people saying DS Two is a cool out, al- cool album, bro. Yeah, I, I don't see that about five season one. I defend that album, bro. Hold I've up. heard his mix, his interview with nah, me. DS Two is fucking. I think me. that's one of the podcasts I've heard the most. What the one he did with me? I listened to that shit like ten times. Are you talking about the text on? Yeah, that's one of the probably that's probably the best hip hop podcast ever, bro. That's my favorite podcast. Right, yeah. well, since he got locked, way up, better than Chase's man's Anthony Fantano. He has a Anthony, podcast. Yeah, he got a podcast. What he does? Yeah. Is he's been good? at a podcast for years, but he don't be on it like that. It's like he do. Yeah, he's been at a podcast. I knew about that little racist YouTube channel he used to have. It wasn't racist. He had a I racist watch, YouTube channel? No, it was it some racist, racist shit on there, bro. It, the it, one looked like some, it looked like some crazy shit, but I used to be on this, <laughs> this shit. On that, it was a meme channel he had. It could come off as fucked up. A 30-year-old man with a meme channel? Hey, that's that man. Nigga, you have one, too. I don't have a You channel. got a meme Twitter, bro. You was in my mentions put nastiness. Of course, I always put nastiness on my Twitter. Uh, this borderline, I'll let it go for now. <laughs> what nasty doesn't mean that it's homosexual. okay. I mean, Young Thug announces another album to drop in two months. Is he making microwavable music now? No, he's not future. Anyway. Okay, look, let me tell you. All right, future Metro Boomin. All right, this one Metro Boomin and Thug had words. Remember that back? Oh back, yeah, like a couple of years ago. Because uh, he. That whole beef was made up just so they could drop Hercules. Yeah, yeah, for they could drop Hercules. All right, it's just like Young Thug, <laughs> Young Thug, bro. Like, I don't feel like he putting out microwave on music. Cause like, did he put out an album last year? Uh, yeah, he yeah, put he out, did. He, he, put, he put, out, put out. He put out that. No, he did. Slime language. And he put out he that. Put out out two, the oh yeah, me and Kane was talking. What? How do you rank those three EPs? Which ones? Uh, on the run, me. hear no oh, evil, and uh, Martha. I don't think Kane, I, I never heard them EPs. I never understand. heard Martha. Mm-hmm. Nigga, Martha's heat. No, never. So I remember him. I remember the EPs. Nas, you talk about. That's the one with uh, DJ Carnage. Yeah, I didn't listen to him. Yo, that's one was hard. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we were saying because Kenny said he thinks See No Evil is better or Martha's better than Hear No Evil. Yeah, you haven't heard him, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I didn't hear him. Yeah, no, that on the run. But I feel like now with the time, like, bro, I don't know. I just I don't feel like he putting out. So then, what's the microwavable now? music now again? A nigga who dropped like six mixtapes in a year. Uh, NBA Youngboy, NBA Youngboy, actually, yeah, he, he does make microwave music. I it, like it's it. probably not, it's probably good, you know, it's microwave food that's good. Shit. No, I know, but so when microwave, does he drop this year? Again? Just, just like, quick. Out. So then that's Young Thug. Like Young Thug not like that, bro. He put out like what two or three things last He's year. He's never put out more music than Future has. Been. No, I don't think so. Is Future microwave more music? music? It depends. Like what more music? Think more Future of work? put out in oh, more in music EP or more bodies of work. Album so year. what are we counting as it's, music? No, it microwave is trash. Bro. Last like, year, Young Thug if, put out like eight yeah, songs. If, if he do anything, he put out a whole mixtape with his with his label. That's that's, that's bro. That's not ago. him, bro. That's Slime Language came out in 2017. The what came out last year? No, Just that the EP. YSL shit. Not why it's it. What's that shit? He the got? EPs and Super Slimy. That was it. Yeah, that shit didn't even uh, count. B. Twenty seventeen. Twenty eighteen. Is last year. That's what I that's just said. That's when the mixtapes came out. I don't get the point. <laughs> that's eight songs, nigga. Yeah, Super Slimy came out in two thousand seventeen. Yeah. The sound. Woo! The silent oh. language shit not even in his discography. It was just a his label thing. That's I mean, even if it was, it came out two years ago. Yeah. Nah, that was a year ago. What, I, slime I language? Wild work. That's what I'm telling you. That was last year. Yeah. I remember. But it's not, I wouldn't it. consider that Young Thug shit, though. Like, look, you look at his albums, bro. He ain't put out an album 
since 2017. He don't put out microwave music. Because he never had the juice like that. That's why. No, because no, he don't put out microwave music to me. If he put out, I mean, the year he dropped the most music was his best year. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, but that's when he had his 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 fucking height. Like I feel like Rich Gang. Everybody has that year. That's his run. Come out that year. That was Young Thug. I'm saying Rich Gang. You heard me? That was his. That was his run. We can't this. We can't. Okay, so who makes microwave music that just goes fast? Young boy. Young boy. Nav. How do you Nav say don't put out music as much? That's like, why I keep when he saying did, it. I'm talking about a few years ago when he put out like four mixtapes. Yeah, because he don't have he a run at all. He didn't put he out four mixtapes. Uh, what's his name? Does it? Uh... Hey, it's only good microwave music if you have a run. <laughs> if you don't have a run, trash. That oh, bad... uh, what's it called? Who? The who? It's little niggas. Not not many people do it as much now. But like Trippy Red makes microwave. Movies. Yeah, he was putting out a lot of shit. And they he wasn't. was putting out like three mixes. And like out of all years. like three albums he put out, like he has eight good songs. Facts. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Every one of his albums has like four yeah. super fire songs. Like and like nine so do we count songs. group projects as microwavable music too when it comes to someone dropping music? It depends. Like it depends on the on the time, the the the, the grace, like of like. The duration it did. Love is range. The last, love is range one to perfect love tape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that wasn't microwave. That was a whole year. That was a whole. Cause no, but I'm saying he had three projects. That came out and in a, fifteen. And a four and a fourth one with Gucci. That's what I'm saying. Does that, that type, out, does that type of stuff year. count? Yeah, the Gucci one came out way after. Yeah, that shit was way after. How? How? Okay, okay look. Four perfect love tape. Perfect love. No, I'm okay. not saying they make a microwave but music, but I'm saying in a short span like that. Do we count that? Nah, but that's part of Uzi Run, so it was good. Except for that fucking uh, uh, Gucci shit. Oh, okay. If it was bad, microwave with music. Uzi put out some good tracks. Heat. And it was just three. It was just three uh, projects though, and, and the they wasn't a lot of out, songs like, on them. The they had like out, fucking like, ten songs on like them. Like nine. seven months before the second one. Yeah, one came out on July for uh, July on his birthday or whatever. Because like, I remember coming back to Dallas. Tapes in a year. Is different if you put one out in January. Okay, so does Lil Pump make November music? I, I don't think so. I don't see Lil Pump only, putting out shit all the time. I'm about because he only put two projects out. Now I can see if you said something about Smoke Perk, maybe. No, yeah, Smoke Perk. But I highly doubt that one too, though. Music, but like bad microwave. Music. Gucci Man does it. That nigga, always, oh, yeah, that, every other that nigga have an album out. I mean, get the fuck out of here. Chief Keef. Yeah, Keef. Who else? I don't. It's a lot of artists, but we don't know them. Like, because I good. always see artists pop up. I'm like, nigga, didn't you just put out a tape? So it's yeah. like I kind of want Bum B to slow down. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. He's just feeding y'all them buns. <laughs> Yo, that that no 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 I can't. Let but that I wasn't one on slide. no gay shit. I, I was can't just, let that one slide. Yeah, that wasn't gay. The crazy thing is I wasn't even thinking about gay. I was just like he's trash. Y'all he feeding them the buns. Cheeks like cheeks. Hey, you remember when nigga said that about uh, Thug Verse on sacrifices? What they say? He was like that shit was ass like cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that verse is hard. Oh my god, bro. Damn, what how on? many how many other niggas does Vert Thug have the best verse on the album? Like four? Goat. The Thug had the best verse on the album? Yeah. Like how More Life, his verse on Sacrifices was the best verse? I don't think so. I mean, most people did. Let's get into this Junk Thug finally in the mainstream. Who put like, that in there? You don't think he's been mainstream? I, oh, no, I, I feel like he has most, been. I'm saying most people are saying that. Because most people were like saying Thug finally arrived. We real niggas know he's been here. The yeah, whole he's time. been here. I feel no, like people are saying because yeah. his his hype finally translated yeah. into like oh sales. Yeah, not th- sales. Well, not sales, but ju- not just sales. Yeah, but something concrete. I feel like thugs should be higher than what he is. Oh yeah, facts. I feel like that boy should be not like Drake level, but like his superstardom like should be higher. Just, just his impact with everything. Yeah, I feel like he should be up there. Because bro. wait, do y'all feel like um I know this is kind of like blasphemy. I never really felt like Kid Cudi was just up, up, up there. But he has that, 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 that those babies, like. No, that's of, what I'm saying with Young Thug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's but like Young Thug's thing. little baby is little baby. Yeah, see, Thug got a lot <sighs> of Cudi, Cudi don't have, like, clones. He got people that, like. Inspired yeah. from him. Like, he got Travis Scott, like, you know what I hey, mean? ASAP Rocky. Clones, bro. Fucking, huh? Said Drake got clones. Drake had mad clones. Like but his D-Rain? clones could who? And Ovi O'Brien? Bro, shut up. That's nasty. Oh, yeah. Drake has no Drake good had clones more clones. besides Tori. He has so many clones on sound, like, everywhere, bro. But it's like, not too many people are going to... You're not going to sound like Drake and be a All right, top. so is your impact good if the people who take your, like, wave are bad? Like, Drake's? Like, who does he have that's his son that's good besides Tory Lanez? 
Travis. And Travis will move it. What I about PNB? PNB. I said good. With his albums, you say P um, Diddy? P and D. P and D has two. Fuck it, dog. Two good projects. When did those come out? He was innovative with the the, sing, the next door uh, was singing. Good. He Stop. had his own little mellow. You know, niggas. Me, uh, Bryce me. Tiller, all them people. Hey like, man, I like R and B artists who can sing. My bad. B. He is, but Wait, he's is who a clone? Who P and D. The first. Oh, project. Smoke is Perp a project? is a clone. Hell yeah. Of Playboy Cardi. You got wild nigga telling you lies. That nigga ain't yeah. sing, but nigga, his only good song is Break from Toronto. That's just and fire. That song the Miguel good. sample. Out, that's a ten point five out of ten. That Miguel sample. It's crazy. Miguel bro. made that shit no, fire. I I that's know. like how a blind dog can find a bone sometimes. Yeah, that shit he. Yeah. I'm gonna say something. Nah, Kanye, bro, Kanye West is. It's probably the best artist of all times, bro. I just start thinking about. Wait, you. so I put him on my number one rappers list? That's rappers. Hey, change. That's different. We said overall. Put, put you your shirt up, bro. Put my shirt up. Yeah, your nipple. No, but I was, we was talking about towards the left. I said we do artists. Rap, I'm just. I just started thinking about every artist that we say, bam, they top right now. They fucking Kanye West, like, you know what I mean? That's just. Are fucking you talking about crazy. the influence? Drake, fucking. Fucking Kendrick, Jake, anybody, Big Young Sean, thug. anybody, Young Thug, fucking Kanye West is, that nigga's fucking, lit. I was just looking at this nigga doing the Sunday service shit, and I was just go like, go damn, go I just remember, bro, like, growing up, go. and like, being like, bro, like, 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 liking the uh, shit out of Kanye, bro, uh, Kanye and Cuddy, mo- like, Kanye's super uh, inf- influenced, bro. Nigga, like, I hear you. Nigga, that's the beat to hot. That's just crazy, bro. Like, that nigga is, Kanye gonna go down as a fucking, like, I'm telling you, though, that nigga died today. Like everybody gonna forget legend. about Make America bro, he's Great like Again. He's like the Stanley Kubrick of rap. See, I can't say nothing about hey, that. Hey, Wes Anderson. Hey, Tevin, who's the Ridley Scott of rap? Like, has some classics, but some off, awful album, like terrible album. I'm gonna say Jay Z because I'm out of car. <laughs> That's fair. I was see, I was thinking about him too. Yeah. Because like that, Reasonable Doubt. That's like the gladiator. That's, that's, that's like film. the Bible, bro. But yeah, and then you got like. Four four four. It's like Alien Covenant. So who would Nas be? Uh, who's somebody with like two good movies and then like twelve? No, no Nas is, is no Nas is uh, Quentin Tarantino. No, 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 no. Yeah, turn <laughs> it podcast, in. No, bro. we're done. Nas here. is the dude that did Air. I can't think of his name. Who did what? The, he did the Last Airbender. Oh, M Night Shyamalan. M Night Shyamalan, bro. Because look, damn, that's pro- Nas, hey, bro. That's back perfect. To back? Yeah, that's Trash. perfect, bro. That's and wait, perfect. and Split would be his uh. Life is good. Yep. Mm. Hey, perfect, bro. Because no. look, and it'd be a hey. Nazir. Nah, that's glass. Nah, glass. Yo, glass we might have sucks. to do that though. We might have to do that little list. Hey, Tevin, hold on. I, I was thinking about this the other day, bro. Can we talk about how Captain Marvel was like the fifth best superhero movie that Nick Fury? I mean, was it that Samuel Jackson was in this year? Because that nigga was in that movie, but he was also in Far From Home, mm-hmm. and Game, and Glass, which are all better. Damn. Thoughts? You think Glass is better than Captain Marvel? I would watch that movie three <laughs> times before I watch Captain Marvel. Same. It's like it's like trash ish. I haven't heard Captain nobody, Marvel is trash. I don't know nobody that like Captain Marvel, bro. I know a couple of like girls. That's it. You and said my, he came out walking out and he had to buy a shirt for it. Of course they don't like. It. I didn't think it was as bad when I first saw. I mean, it's still like six out of ten. But that's nothing like, to me is memorable about that movie. That's a low grade MCU besides that booty. Ah. Dang, which one you watch a Thor Thor the Dark World or that? Boy, no. Which one? Wait, for the or what death. I just said? That was the option too though. Oh, I would rather watch Thor the Dark World because Natalie Portman's in that movie. Oh, I, cho- I choose death. She is bad. Well, that's because you're sexist, bro. That is true. Natalie Portman also in the professional. That's huge. Isn't she also in the uh, episode? Hey, I was two? thinking about I was gonna bring or I was gonna bring that up on the podcast, but I was gonna bring that up with you, bro. What? You ever notice that when Natalie Portman's in like franchise movies, she's terrible? Yeah, when but she's, when she's in like, like a standalone, movie, like indie movie. Like she was fucking awful in all three stories. It's like movies. I love in I like in like Bill Murray, like okay, everybody know he's a fucking classic comedy guy with fucking ground all day and shit. But my Bill Murray Is Moore, that what put him up there? Yeah, but what made nah, him it was stand, Ghostbusters, when I it think. came when it came for him being like Ghostbusters, yeah. But when it came to him being like serious actors, like his independent shit, all his shit he did with like Wes Anderson and shit, like his Are quirky Sophia, shit. Sophia Coppola. Oh, movie? Sophia Coppola. Lost you talking about Lost in Translations? Fire. Tokyo. Come on, Heat. Scarlett Johansson. Far from home. You in that? Babe. We're gonna have a movie aficionado uh, debate between you two one day. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm killing this man. Cause y'all two, he knows shit, y'all two basically like Goku Vegeta in the in the subjects. He knows things, man. 
Tevin. Jorge. Yeah, oh, the one who's actually more powerful? Yeah. But no, nope. you said it you said <laughs> nope. You said uh Goku was stronger. He no, I said they were equal. Mm-hmm. You think they equal now? I think I, I think, think Goku's stronger. Off pure strength. I think Goku's stronger off pure strength. I think Vegeta's stronger. Well, off speaking pure of Goku and Vegeta, y'all want to talk about those wait, wait, leaks? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> No, no, them leaks was we hilarious. Have was say about music? They showed me yesterday. That shit was funny. Yeah, Travis shit is was... making music soon. Is anyone hype? That yeah, dude, I, I don't believe him. I know all three. Of you. He said Travis though. Yeah. He yeah. say that every time he performs. And then a leak of him and uh, the little baby on that one song. I do not want to hear them on a song together. I really don't. That don't even mix. Well, it's like him and Gunna basically. But they mix. Oh well, him and Gunna made some classic. Yo, yo some <laughs> Yosemite. Y'all ready to move to the Yo, Gunna, the Gunna got a top five flow right now. Hey, he does. Right now? His flow was like a river just going down. <laughs> no, nothing Bro, stopping. Hey, right. Drip yeah. season. Hey, drip <laughs> season two. <laughs> hey, drip, hey, we, hey, me, you, and Kane are all in agreement that drip or drown two. Drip or drown two, I mean. That's just heat, that's bro. A good pro- that's a that good shit is fun. Bro, it gets better, bro. It's like water, nigga. Bro, I... Yeah, faucet water. No, nigga. Yo, I don't know why it's fucking crazy. Water that goes down straight. Hold, up. Straight, hold up, bro. Bro, hold up. That's how real... That's a waterfall right there. It just ends. Y'all look... Bro, really listen to that album, bro. Like bro, that's did. No, that's what that's the problem. I really listened to it. I started falling asleep. Da, 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 da. <laughs> bro, I don't know why. Uh, Derek That's Fisher, Audio NyQuil for real. Cash War... I mean, boring. who you, you fooling? Hey, boring. Ben oh, Fire. Hey, You're right. Who you fooling? Yeah, he was fooling me with a good, with a bad album. Same yeah, you, young, you bro. You same said. young nigga is so fucking heat to me, bro. That beat, yeah. Y'all are bugging, that bro. That's the bro. only thing that was appealing about the shit. Yeah, the bro. one thing is he he can't do like faster songs, but that's why all these songs are slower. Yeah, oh, out, hey, yeah, outstanding. Yeah, outstanding. Is that the one that I ain't paying, bro? Is that that one? All this shit, bro. Man, let's go to the main section. Man, that's movies, that. anime, yeah. television, and entertainment. Yo, now I mean, gonna go. I never thought that gun after I first heard I oh, okay the first time, and I was like, wow, this is terrible. Oh, okay. Because yeah, like when that. I first heard it, I'd never heard of, or I hadn't listened to Gun or a Baby really, and I was like, this sounds like two niggas not better than Young Thug who sound like Young Thug. But now that they've carved out their own niches, man, heat. Plus, Lil Baby doesn't sound like Thug that much anymore. No, and that song he does. Well, yeah, they all sound like him on that song. Nah, I think Gunner's voice is more distinct. Young Thug family too. tree. Mate. God. But let's get to this mate section. What were no, y'all two just on. talking about? A Marvel split? No, oh, the Funimation thing. Oh, Funimation? Oh, did y'all oh like, yeah, Did y'all yeah, like yeah. the leaks? Them shits was hilarious. Yeah, that shit was really... I thought they got in trouble because they said faggot in it. Yeah. Why they get in trouble? I don't know. Chase told me it was because they was on company time or something. They wasn't getting in trouble. They just got... Everybody just got on there. <clears throat> it's like, yo, they was in the company... They was in studio Bro, time doing this instead they, of dubbing the episodes. No, the crazy thing is that it just sounds like if we knew how to do their voices real good, like, that'd have been us. Like, No, they, they said that was the actual actors. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That was really... No, nah, there was a video longer version. I didn't send y'all. I found it the night after. It was a gangbang scene between Mr. Popo, Kami, and Yamcha. Did oh, you yeah. watch oh, it? What kind of leaks is this? You never seen it? You ever heard yes. it? We can play that shit. Put five dollars in the jar right now. <laughs> oh, you're Please, a fag. Let's play this shit. Shaq never heard it. You're bugging. You ain't gonna All right. Wait, I'm can you, you play that? Yeah, or will it get copyrights it. right? I don't think that's copyright. Hey, no, nah, it's crazy how they wait was a second, just... Wait a second. Wait, hold on. I wait. just want to say real quick, it's crazy how they was fooling around, but... They've they've been the voices for so long they could just fool around in the voice and it sound like them. You're right. One more request. It has to do with our training regime. Will you guys suck me off until I come all over your faces? <laughs> hey, look at those faggot ass clothes. Faggot, faggot, fag. Wow. Fag, I fag. thought that's what they got in trouble for. <laughs> yes. No, Hercules was my favorite. No, Hercules was the funniest shit. You try to keep that bitch happy. It's impossible. I just give her food, I give her presents, I give her rings, I give her any... I'm sorry, I'm sorry Funimation. <laughs> well, you know, I wouldn't keep anything from my fans. <laughs> Not even this gorgeous cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this one? Yeah. Listen. Go on. Go on. Go on. I'm just like, yes. 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 <laughs> That's good stuff. Oh, no, this one is nasty. Come closer. 
I feel my time is near, and I've never been <laughs> I do my best. Oh my god. No, when y'all to watch it? It's 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 nothing. Mr. Popo and I have a, a special relationship. Oh my Popo, he knows how to handle balls. Oh, uh, yeah. Yo. Around? Yeah. But I feel like if we had fag that talent, we'd be fag. doing a little, they would say, fag it, fag it, fag it, fag Oh, my God. Hey, that what shit? if that wasn't filler and that was can? Bro, that shit. Hey. Bro. Anybody remember that uh, fucking, what's that beat? What's that fucking, uh, uh, that fucking anime, that go, that, you know, that, that fucking Dragon Ball, um. Porno, the comic. Oh, comic, comic, Lucha. comic. Yeah, mm, I got memories they, of that. When, when Trunks and Goten fuck up uh, Chi Chi. Oh my god. That nigga. Oh, I, rem- I read that shit like eight. Yeah, grade. remember the niggas fucked the vacuum cleaner? I'm not gonna lie. That drawing style was kind of nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hey, not gonna hey, lie. That shit was hilarious. And I went for the second one. I'm like, what's the second one about Trunks and, B- and Bulma? Yeah. I'm like F. Then it was Trunks' mom came in. Then you saw that. Tr- um, Bulma's dad was doing it. I'm like, what? Okay, I'm out. God, bro. <laughs> I said, I'm out. They was nasty for that shit, boy. Hey, let's get into this. Do you believe in the three episode rule for a show? I do. I don't. I don't have much. I I do now. Sometimes it takes an episode for me because so much shit's out that you got to catch me, bro. So, like, shit, I can go down to the one episode rule. Shit, like yeah, I, go, I got like a ten minute rule. Probably a ten. Yeah, if I'm shit. bored before the episode thing, I will on move, for the bro. It's over. So I how long did on. you last on Black Clover? Or did you ever watch it? Oh, I watched the first episode, and I never watched after that. Sheesh. Because the first episode was just Naruto episode one, and I was like, this is annoying. But that's basically like anime fans, though. Like you've been in the anime community, bro. You're not gonna watch everything. Like you'll watch one episode, you'd be like, shit, or you'd be like, damn, I need to be watching this anime, but you'll be watching some other shit. It just, it's just how it goes. It's just. Part of being an anime fan, you can't watch it all, and it, it just how it is, bro. That's one thing I learned when I used to like, probably like middle school, probably middle school and like a beginning of like my freshman year of high school. Like I was trying to watch everything on fucking um, Kiss Anime on my little slow ass Sony computer. You're like you can't watch everything, bro, because I start something and I end up like I remember when Hunter Hunter came out like my senior year, and I was watching the sub. And then, like, I just stopped watching that shit, and I finished that shit, like, you know, I started back watching, like, a year later, like, when they got up in the middle of the manga and shit, like, it's just how it is, bro. I still can't believe I got bored of Full Moon Alchemist Brotherhood. I don't feel like you got bored. It just, it just, bro, it, I didn't watch Full Moon Brotherhood in its entirety, just, like, straight, like, it, it, you take breaks. That's just how it is. It's just certain animes, you be like, damn, it's so fast-paced, and, like, it's going, you just follow through. You just got animes like that. You got some animes that's is he- like Full Metal Metal Bro- uh, Brotherhood is not all. It's a lot of dialogue too, so yeah. sometimes they can bore you. I understand that. Cause so, you know, I'm like, dang, when the yeah, next fight gonna happen? That, yeah, but that's what builds that that anime. It's like with Hunter Hunter, you got that dialogue, you builds that character development, and it brings you into the story. It just, it takes some time. That's how Brotherhood was. Like I got attached to these characters, and sometimes you just had those animes where it's just straightforward pull up anime. Like, See, I didn't get attached to like no that. one until halfway through the show. It, t- it takes like when, time. I yeah, t- it also takes time. Way. When Kimberly came in? Yeah. Nigga. But, but that's what I'm saying. It takes time. That's one of those animes that takes time. Like, Nigga, that was 30 episodes out of yeah. 60. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. It's just how it is. And that anime, if I'm not mistaken, it follows the manga more, too, than the first one. I'm like, sheesh. But, but um, yeah, like, you could find those animes when you just you just watch straight through. Like, Drifters, it was 12 episodes. It was just straightforward, bro. Like each time it came out, I, I watched that shit. Hands, huh? That's because niggas was throwing. Yeah, oh, it's man. pull up. Like, like I know you, right now you're in the demon, sl- demon slayer. It's pull up, right? It just they fight. There's a lot of action, right? Demon slayer. That's so what dope. I'm saying. Like that. Thank, can, thank you, James on Jones for giving that can, me that recommendation. That can, that can grab you into something like man, that. Fuck James on Jones. <laughs> fuck James Silent Bob. <laughs> what? <laughs> but nah, bro. It's just certain animes it has. Like, like a you got traitor. Sorry. Go ahead. Just that's just part of like anime, bro. Like, it's different categories, different Shock. genres. Like, some niggas don't like mecha anime, like at all. Like, I don't see some people just don't like. It. See, bro, some niggas don't like women either. I don't like. 
I go through phases. Like, I would. No, I don't like women as in their their attitude towards life, bro. Come on. But I go through phases. Like, I was into, like, a lot of rom com animes at one point. Like, Toradora and. Mm. That's just fucking. Toro is fire. That's, that's, that's fucking heat. It's just like, like sometimes I was a pedophile for like. Yeah, watch school days. You can bring them kids over here. Jorge, I know you seen school days. What'd you just say? <laughs> Yo, school days is awful. That's just awful. Only watch it just because that nigga fucked all them bitches uh-huh. and then they killed that nigga at the end. Yeah, the last episode was a classic. That's, that's just true. a classic episode. They murked Jorge that. Jorge says it's really hype for Demon Slayer. Have like you started that. Demon Slayer yet, Jorge? I have to watch it. I, bro, I don't watch anime anymore. Yeah, I, feel I know right. I'll like it, but I don't want to watch it now because I know if I watch it now, I probably yeah. won't like it because I don't care about anime right now. Yeah, I feel you. Like, you ever watch an anime when you was in a bad zone and you just come back a couple months later, you're like, no, nah, this shit got on fire. Oh, that yeah. was me for years. <laughs> yeah, yeah that was that was me with, uh, with Super. Yeah. The first, like, 30 episodes, I didn't watch them. I watched the first two episodes. Yeah. I was like, ugh. And I'm, then episode 64 dropped, and I was like, hmm, I gotta watch this. I'm on my anime Speaking break. Of, it's been like a year. I've finished Super. I had to finish it and sub. Nice. Wait, did you talk about it on the last podcast? I don't remember. Oh. But. He said he liked GT Pen. I no, did he, not. I don't believe that at all. Nah, this one nigga I follow on Twitter, he said GT's ending is the ending the franchise deserved. The one hey, where Piccolo no. was in hell. Who has, what's better ideas and better like uh fucking... <laughs> I guess characters and stuff. GT are fucking super. Super. <laughs> GT has Super Saiyan Four and the Namekian Dragons. The design for certain characters is better in GT. What? Chief? Which one? Legend. Oh, the Shenron. Trash. The Shenrons. The oh, only good design oh, was three and four. Omega, Nova, and Ice. Ice. Yeah. Is, well, he was just Nova, but yeah, blue. blue. It was the same shit. And then the other four were Super terrible. Seventeen. Yeah, I got the. Th- that was hard. Oh, that was I, better. I, I, that I, was better than than Dragon Ball Super I Seventeen. Have absolutely nothing to say. So like, it's like GT remind me of like I compare it to the prequels of Star Wars when it comes to like it tried to do well. It, even though like George Lucas, you know, well he had that's more different because prequels and, uh, was him running wild. I know, but he had different ideas, and I'm just saying I compare it to how people like shun that and shun. To GT. me, I like GT for its more creativeness towards. The Super, characters and stuff. They make it nostalgia heavy, kind of. Yeah. What do you mean? Because I was watching a video the other day and it was breaking down why the Tournament of Power wasn't really a Jiren story, but more of a, a nostalgia story. Yeah. Like how you have a uh, Goku and Vegeta both, you know, going against this this uh, foe or whatever. Basically just rehashing a lot of things in Z. Like this is the one thing in, in Super. They they do a they do a time traveling arc where Trunks needs to fight this person to out of out of his timeline, yeah. No, then you have a, a figure from space coming Turn, to, coming to take over the world. That was Beerus. Tournaments, to the tournaments. Well, he didn't try yeah. to take over the world. No, he tried to destroy it, just like how Vegeta did. I'm gonna destroy the world but, with the skelly gun. But one thing for that for me, me too is, is to the and then they had a Frieza arc again. Yeah, but they they kind of do that with every anime. No, but I'm saying I mean, with every like show or something like that that's gone for a while and comes back. They did it with GT. But I'm saying no, but I'm saying I GT mean, yeah, had first more creative. G- episodes of GT is a straight rip of Dragon. Ball. But I think GT has more creativeness than Super did. I don't, I'm I don't not too it. much into Super. But Look at the transformations. Super In Super, their hair just turns a different color, basically. They're stronger, but they turn a different color. In GT, at least when they went Super Saiyan 4, they look different. That's the one thing GT has over for Super Saiyan. I mean, over Dragon Ball. And I say the anime style is... I don't know. I just love the old Obviously, 90s anime style. Oh, the animation is a lot worse than GT. Yeah. I well, lo- I'm just a sucker for the old animation no, style. No, I like bro. GT, too. I defend both. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'd saying. rather watch Super over GT, but I could appreciate that GT had more creative designs, like the prequels. Like yeah, they have more creativity with GT than they did Super, because Super is just a nostalgia trip all over. Look at the prequels, mad creativity shit. Probably wasn't the best, but he did a lot they of shit. Most of it bad, like GT makes sense. Huh? Said most of it was bad. Yeah, too. that's why I, I compared the two. And then you bring then you bring Super into like the new trilogy. They did a lot of nostalgic shit, trying to copy. Wait, what would the be first. the super equivalent of the Last Jedi? I don't know. I ain't got too far in Super to see if they have any trash like that. Uh, oh, Last they, Jedi they're is they're a filler, classic. Filler is trash, huh? I said Last Jedi is a classic. First of all, but anyway, filler is sucker cock. None of the arcs are just that good either in Super. I ain't gonna lie, that what's that shit? Oh, we gonna talk about it, but that shit looks fucking heat. What? what? <sighs> the oh, Boga Fett nine? shit. No, the, the Mandalorian. Mo- the Man- oh yeah, the Mandalorian. That's a, that's that shit. Out. Look, bro, ten out of ten already. Sign me up. 
That shit looks fire. Are y'all gonna be? Are y'all hey, mad J- that the Disney yeah. Plus ain't doing rated R stuff? John Favreau is back. He put out like two straight trash tips. Now he's back with some heat. Oh, he he doing that? Yeah, he directed it. Wow. Yeah, right after Lion King. Oh, y'all said cool. was a top five film. Of y'all want to just get into the, the Disney shit though? Wait, do we have anything else to talk about before then? Mm, not really. They should post new stand up. I don't. I, didn't watch I watched it. it. I think I'm the only one that watched it. I watched. I, watch watch it? It I think it's a classic. My my homie, you know that boy Darius, the plug. Yeah, he said he absolute heat. Yeah, that's just. Yeah, but that's just a whole bunch of controversy around the shit. But that's what it was for. I know that's just classic. And bro. I just feel like if you look at like Rotten Tomatoes, they get that shit a straight zero. And then all and all the critics, oh, it was absolutely horrible. The shit he was just talking about was just unacceptable. Shit like that. Well, see, that's just the era. What was the movie that I watched? It was either Us or Get Out. They gave it straight horrible. Re- this movie is racist. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going off of their reviews. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. gonna make, especially with stuff like that. I'm going off my own opinion yeah. type stuff. That what? shit he did. He did a bit about like uh, driving in the car. In the car, it was uh, gays. Yes, yeah, LGBT. He's like how the trans people are just staring out the window and shit. And he's like trying to go to the bathroom. He's like, nigga, he's like, nigga, ain't no uh, bathroom for y'all for like four or five states type shit. Like, he was saying, he was saying like, bro, he was all that shit. Out of, out of the whole LGBT community, the T, nobody really liked. Yeah. Like, That's what he, he had it all. Hey, and I'm going to agree. There was yeah. another point he made. He was like, if women have the right, you know how to, to keep the baby shit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was yeah. like, uh, if they have the right to keep the baby... I forgot he said, but he's, it's like we have a right, a right to leave if we want to. Yeah. Oh yeah. He said a man. He said a man could be like. He said. So he's saying what I like, said the other day. Yeah. A, a man, if a, if a right, if she want to keep the baby, you have the right to like you know want to leave her ass I and stuff so like that. He said it was like perfect, I, bro. I, I said. I said like if you. So much it, shit. Yeah. I was like, bro, you mm-hmm. right though. So is he preaching my message? He did the he faggot did shit. Message. He said because back in the day they were like they told me couldn't say faggot on there. He said, but I say nigga all the time. It was like. They told him because he's not gay, and then they was like, "But, but that guess that he was like, I'm not a nigga either." You know what I mean? Like type shit. Mm. Yeah. Hey, he was on some shit on that. That hey, first, no, the, bro, bro, the first half of that shit, like the second half, still hard, but the first half, it's fucking fire, bro. Yeah. Like that shit is, like he was on some points, bro. Now I like to ask for all the people, is it in 4K? You got 4K Netflix? Probably. I don't know. My girl got me in, got me one. So. She yeah, got me eight Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. yeah. If you got the high, the highest one, like I got 4K Netflix. I don't got 4K TV. Though. That shit spoke some real shit, bro. Yeah, you want some real shit, but it's just how it's basically how we talk though. Yeah. Like the shit we say, it's like he can express himself like that if he wants to, because that's just his opinion. Yeah. Hey, Dave, you ever like want to express yourself on this pod? Go ahead, buddy. Come on <laughs> over here. Nah, that nigga, There's a seat right next to. It's Jorge crazy because I, I got a. I, I, Damn, that's crazy because I know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows Dave Chappelle. Well, you get that person that knows somebody that knows somebody that you knows know, somebody Erica that knows somebody. Yeah, that's why I know somebody. My dad, them. my dad, my dad knew they said it was because like a year or two ago, he came to um, her, her party. And my dad met him and stuff. He hit me up. He like, yo, that shit was crazy because yeah. he met his kids and stuff first. But he said he never seen Dave, you know. Tell Dave to plop his butt on that couch and let's go have, have a discussion. Dave, he like, I don't want to talk to you niggers. Wow, so you're not one, but we are. Effing coon. Now that nigga, that nigga, that nigga stand up. I can't believe Jorge ain't seen it. But are you into stand up, though? What? Yeah. Bill Blur for the cut, drop a new one. Oh yeah, no, I'm ready. His for last you. one, I. They said Eddie Murphy's dropping one next. Nah, it's really he got that movie coming out, Dolomite, on uh, Netflix. No, yeah, he, he said he was dropping one though. But if he drop a stand up, bro. Well, yeah, because niggas were saying how how. How is he gonna make it back in the day? Yeah. They was like, what you say? That raw shit, that that shit is crazy. Delirious too. But yeah, no niggas was saying delirious way worse. That they don't know how they're gonna go since when he did do stand ups, they was super wild. He can't really be like that. Now. Yes, he can. Fuck him. Nah, I'm saying he, he won't. Yeah. Nah, but the, nah, you ever list that? No, nah, they all Dave Chappelle on like the wildness rating was like a six or seven. Like he was never too provocative. Oh, Eddie Murphy was like an 11. What's yeah. the top provocative comedians then? Like, this nigga was talking about, like, getting Andrew his dick sucked by gay niggas and shit. Andrew Schultz is really like, he don't give a fuck. Yeah. Oh, Carlos Mencia? Like huh? Rob Deerdick? No. You talking about Miller? Oh, Carlos, Carlos Miller? <laughs> no, it's the black nigga, but I heard one of the stand he be saying some off the wall. Do you think he's young Cannon? black? No, the, 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 oh, nigga, Corey Holcomb, nigga? Yeah. Corey Holcomb, oh, yeah. Man, that nigga's hilarious, oh, like, bro. 
<laughs> no, Corey Holcomb. He's like Patrice O'Neal, like in a way. But no, Corey. Holcomb oh, Patrice like, O'Neal's another one bro, up there. R.I.P. Bro, top five. He's up there. Top though. five. Corey Holcomb, bro. This yeah, nigga talk. No, Corey oh, Holcomb. Bro. One of my favorite jokes is him being like, his girl had an abortion. I mean, had a, a miscarriage and the baby, and like on the toilet. He's like. He flushed it. He's like, ah, no, that. He's like, oh, no, you nigga. Like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I like, no, that. one of my other favorites, he's like, man, hey, he say he took his girl, you know, to go to the abortion clinic, right? And, you know, she went in there or whatever, come out. He said he was driving 50 Cent, and she turned that shit out. Like, I don't want to hit all that killer shit. He said, bitch, you just left the hitman office. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> bro, Corey Holcomb is one of my favorites, bro. Yeah, nigga, Corey Holcomb don't even fuck what he say about people, bro. Like, for real. I watch that nigga stuff. Corey Holcomb, bro. I love stand up, dude. Like, what got me in it? Like, I'm an Eddie Griffin fan, too. Like, Eddie Griffin a lot. Eddie Griffin, bro. No. People be saying, I'm like, bro, no, he is. is he's smart as fuck, too. Yeah, Eddie Griffin is one of my favorites. Yeah. But nah, like, fucking me. Like, one of my first stand ups I watched was Delirious, nigga, Eddie Murphy. So that shit. That nigga, nigga talking about gay people, like, yeah, really. Yeah, I, yeah. I did watch Delirious probably like 20 times. Yeah. Delirious. I like Delirious more than Raw. My, I just, Raw's hard, bro. Raw is fire, but I like Delirious more. When that nigga talked about when that nigga's like, uh, they screamed out to something, and he was just like, I think Eddie was like, suck my dick, nigga. It was so like, because you know it was a nigga, it was Charles Murphy, Charlie yeah, Murphy in the, in the uh, you can hear him in the stands. Delirious got the, uh, I think that's when they got that got the AIDS joke. Yeah, the, it, oh, when he talked about Michael Jackson and shit? Nah, that Raw one, when he talked about the Italians yeah, and all that? You that shit in public now, niggas will right. stab you. Nah, that nigga, that fucking Eddie Murphy was like cold. most of the shit niggas say you couldn't make now is like yeah. shut up, nigga. Yeah, like you could make uh, what's that shit they always saying? Oh, you could make the Boondocks in 2019. Yeah, but nah, you couldn't say some of the shit he was saying. Eddie Murphy, was was on, Eddie Murphy. Have y'all ever seen Raw and Delirious? I uh, seen Raw. Raw's on Raw. One of them's on Netflix. Yeah. Raw was on Netflix. Yeah, Raw was bro hardcore, bro. Cause it's like. When you're like people now, you could look at it and they probably be like, "Damn, it's comedians that's already done it because it's like it's older." But like, oh, they like not, it's the Seinfeld problem. It's just like Richard Pryor, you know. It's like what's the Seinfeld problem? The Seinfeld problem is people who watch Seinfeld now and they see all the like episodes and they're like, "This a bunch of sit, uh, sitcoms have done all this. I don't like this show." Yeah. And the problem is all them shows copy Seinfeld, so yeah. now Seinfeld looks like, like a show. Oh, I said that before on the podcast but too. Seinfeld, about horror movies. Seinfeld, still, yeah, it's still. Funny. Remember, that's I said, horror, I said. Yeah. Nowadays, horror movies, I see that. Oh, I'm kind of desensitized to that. If I go back, I'm like, eh, it doesn't really hit me as much because I already seen its babies. Yeah. One thing about with film with me is different because it's yeah, like, like the Exorcist is still scary. Yeah, shit. it's different films. Like, because mostly I grew up, I seen the old shit. Like, they used to play that shit on fucking what's the TBS and shit. Like, on fucking on doing October. Like, I seen that old shit. It just creeped me out more, bro. Yeah. Like watching old horror movies. Fucking creep me out. Like a recent. Oh my bad. Oh, that's the nigga. Rose, he he Barry, the one who Rose directed Doctor Strange. He is shit. <laughs> I hate that. I'm so that mad. I'm so <laughs> mad that nigga. He said that for the first one. He was like, "We gonna try to make a horror based movie." What was scary about that movie? Maybe how boring the minute, like thirty minutes in the middle was. Yeah, that shit was yeah, fuck that nigga. I will kill him. <laughs> But now Emily, he's he's a good horror director though. Emily like that, so that's a good movie. Yeah, it just, scary as fuck, yeah. <clears throat> I didn't like them using the Exorcist name, but it was still good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, internal, internals. I don't care for it. Me either. Oh yeah, the, the no, nah, just the concept art. Yeah, that co- they hey don't they the don't they all look like Vision costume from Age I'm try- Ultron? Yeah, I'm trying to look and like what the fuck this reminds me. Bro, they me all of. look like Age Ultron Vision costume where he was just wearing that fucking robe. It's, it give me a. I'm thinking about something else like Power a, a sci-fi movie. That's what nah, they said. It's something recent. Damn. I'm excited for it. I, honestly, I'm not even really excited for Phase Four. I'm just excited to see where it, where they all go. lead to. Yeah. Nowhere we're good. They replacing all the heroes with women. Didn't you say hey, he was making one of the main games? Eternals game? dead ass has uh, three of the characters in the movie used to be niggas and their girls now. Out of crazy? like seven of them. That's crazy. I mean, I don't care because, you know, the Eternals, they're not cool, but. Bro, I don't care either, but. It's just the like, one that they had bro, that I like. They're playing so much to. Nah, this is what they're doing with the movie. I mean, just, nigga, you see what they're doing with Thor 4. Now, this is what's happening, bro. Thor, they're, not even the. he going to be the third most important character in his own movie. As the world changed. Okay. As the world changed and society changes with the people we see every day or not see every day they want to see that on screen 
It just how it's gonna happen. It just want a newer world for today for people to. Right. It's like we don't they see make classic superhero movies. Leave them fucking classic. Well, that's the thing. Eternals is why I think that's why they're doing it for Eternals. Cause it's not a well known. Yeah, because nobody cares about them, so yeah. they can change it. And the one character that niggas like me care about got changed into a woman, which kind of makes his character different. I don't like it. But I'm one nigga. Millions of people will still go see that movie. Right. I'm sure it'll still be ass. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. I know the society got to... But I just wish that it, that it doesn't have to fucking change just because they want to fucking see it like that. Well, it is weird because they're pushing some other ones, like... Marvel has created a bunch of like heroes for other like Miss Marvel. The mm-hmm. TV show was announced. I will watch. She's Muslim. That's one of her big things in her character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. She was created by a Muslim lady, uh, G Willow Wilson. Yeah. So that show, I feel like it'd be good. They got her consultant for it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's something that Marvel. I think they did a good job with. Is like niggas was like, why Spider Man white? Niggas was like, all right, black. Yeah. So that this was cool. One thing like I I try. One thing I just was thinking about, like, just recently, like, I'm not for the trip just because, like, you know, shit changes. Just like, we, you know, growing up, we didn't see many characters that look like us, you know. So some people live in a lifestyle and they're trying to, it's not like just people complaining. It's really like people no, understand, like, what's out there and they just, I guess, trying to appeal to everybody so everybody can feel accepted. Yeah, but there's like heroes. But look, all, look. look for those, like, yeah, they could put them out, but look. If they want to make a gay movie, Wiccan. Or if you want to make a, 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 a black superhero movie, of course you got Black Panther. Uh, who else is black? They got uh, Luke Cage, uh, the dude from the old, uh, Blue Marvel, like shit like that, bro. Just you know what I mean? Yeah, but like it's not really black people complaining about it. I know. That's it's more. Saying, it's more bro. like now it's women and tr- and like LGBTQ yeah, shit. So it's oh, like yeah, they, it's gonna be a trans person in a yeah. Thor love and thunder. So that's but look. All, only allows down to like it really goes down to is this is good. That's how I'm gonna judge it. If it's good, I don't care how anybody looks. Is it a good movie? And if, if we look back at this ten years from now and we see how movies look now, and we go back to like y'all yeah, remember the time when everybody was changing and we put gay people in this and trans people in this. Was it some good shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what it's gonna go down to. Like Miss, we got what we got uh, Captain Marvel. Was it good? No. Was so Wonder Woman it good? It was the best Marvel movie ever. No. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, that's not even the best movie with Marvel wait, 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 in the wait. day. We forgot that Spider-Man and Sony, well, Marvel and Sony broke up over Spider-Man. I mean, I feel like that's old news, though. They got back together, though, right? No. It's rap. I thought they made a, made a deal. I thought they it's made a, a deal. Is that it's fake? No, nah, it's a rap. Somebody said they made a deal. Who? Somebody said they had. That was a week ago. That was that man of bite nigga. He's a fucking like Disney Marvel fanboy. He's a All right, well, this, he was telling niggas to boycott. Awesome. Like, okay, don't nigga, listen to him. That nigga's the worst. You don't like him? How is he I the worst? Hate, he just lies all the time and makes shit up. He has fucking clickbaity ass videos. He gets niggas to watch his garbage videos that he barely does fucking research for by giving out fucking free Amazon cards and shit. I'm <laughs> tired. I, that so, that so nigga's sick to me. But they say they should be meeting next week sometime. I, see. I mean, they'll probably get it done, but do y'all, even think, if, do y'all think Disney deserves more? No, no. They well, yes and no. Well, yes. tell them the scope. Please tell them the scope of how much they make. Five uh, yeah. percent, oh, right? Know, I know. Yes, I believe they deserve more because they kind of rejuvenated the Spider-Man EP. I mean, IP, which niggas have said, well, it wasn't that low. But all right, listen, bro. So amazing. All right, so ama- Spider-Man one, right? Two thousand two. Goat. Bro, that was the fourth most attended film of the 2000s. Mm. The only movies who beat it was Dark Knight, Avatar, and like Revenge. Not Revenge. It was another like big movie. So it's up there. It, like adjusted for inflation, it made like $2 billion. Right on. Amazing Spider-Man 2 2014, $700 million. That's not good. Spider-Man is the biggest superhero on the planet. Like but- among adults, he's as popular as like Batman and Superman. But among kids, he's way like his merch is twice as much as theirs. So yeah. a movie about him only making seven hundred million dollars, yeah. that would be like if Avengers came out and made like five hundred. I got I got something to say. From like when Spider Man when Amazing Spider Man came out, was that 2014? Amazing Spider Man one was twenty eleven. That one made like seven fifty. Okay, that was seven fifty. Do you feel like that was the times though? Like we was tired of Spider Man movies at that point. I was. I didn't want to see no Spider Man movie. What was the okay what I was, didn't at all. What was the last Spider Man? Well, I mean then Spider-Man that because fucking 
Spider Man Homecoming. Came, all right, so yeah, the no, gap. Look, look, I'm like, saying the gap between Spider Man Two, Amazing Spider Man Two, and Homecoming is less of a gap than the yeah, gap but between no, Spider Man me, Three look, and Amazing Spider Man One. But Marvel, that's when Marvel made that shit. We were like, oh yeah, once they get a hand of it, because this one Marvel. All right, 2011, you know, Marvel had a couple movies out. Then Avengers came and won that many. Then once Homecoming got announced and Sony made a deal, we was already hyped on Marvel. We was like, okay, once they get a hold of Spider Man, this shit would be dope. So we was hyped. I, you know, we was like, all right, fucking. I feel like it's just the time. I feel like if Homecoming would came out with Marvel around that time, it probably would made around like eight, eight hundred million. I don't feel like it probably would have made as much just because how we was looking at the scope of Marvel. It was in the beginning of its rise at that time. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause like now, once now we know Sony ain't shit. They ain't been doing none with. You they ain't been none with it. Was, what they have like. Five, this like, get like five percent, right? No, it was like five percent of the first day income, something like it was that. The right? first I, I, was it like that? Somebody said it was like Sony gets a hundred percent of like from the from the movies, mm. and then Disney would get whatever was made from like merch. Yeah. See, that's why I think Disney doesn't deserve the money. I don't see all the money shit. made for like the Avengers and Civil War, which Spider Man definitely helped the box office of. Yeah. Mm. Uh, fucking they, Sony gets none of that money. I, I, I'm with Wait, Sony. Sony got none of what money? The, the money, money Spider Man Spider Man yeah. to appear in like the Avengers film. Yeah. But Which they, some people will argue, I would argue, they wait, probably so should have. They probably should have got a check from. I think they should have got a check from that. I feel like Sony's in. I like they both Sony's big coverage, but right I feel like I feel like Sony. I, I lean towards Sony more than like. Disney. I think Sony Why? is wrong, Just, but I think Disney's also wrong because. Disney, they don't, they don't, the thing is, they don't need the money, so they're really doing this like it's like a power move. Right on, probably. it's a power move. But Sony, they don't deserve the money either, because them niggas don't do nothing. Yeah. I, 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 like, I, the, oh, bro, listen to this. The last good live action Spider-Man, or let's just say, because Sony animation is not really connected to the film division, mm-hmm. and that's who made Spider-Verse. Mm-hmm. So, take Spider-Verse out. The last good Spider-Man movie them niggas made was Two. in 2004. Mm-hmm. They put out fucking three duds ever since then. But we got to separate. They shit is money. Like, they not talking about good. No, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. but the thing is... Us as fans, we talking about the quality. The thing they've shown is that with Spider-Man in their hands, the the, the movies have diminishing returns. Yeah. Like, the movies make less because niggas are like, all right, this... How's the merchandising and all that? The merchandising is always going to be high because Spider-Man's the biggest superhero in the world. But I don't don't know... But a Spider-Man movie only making $700 million at the box office... Which I know what you're saying about diminishing returns mm-hmm. from the other movies because we was tired of Spider Man, right? But it also made less money than fucking Days of Future Past, which X Men movies have never made a billion dollars. Spider Man mm-hmm. has three billion dollar movies now. Spider Man made less than fucking Captain America Winter Soldier, which I know mm-hmm. connected to the MCU, but still, Captain America one made three hundred million dollars at the box office. Second one made like seven seventy. Yeah. So it was the fourth highest grossing Spider. I mean, superhero movie of 2014. And it lost to a few movies that niggas didn't care about. I just feel like it's just the rise of Marvel. And I just feel like Sony, at their time, is like, I don't know much, but I'm pretty sure they put money into Homecoming too since it's they, they no, own No, yeah, they shit. produce Homecoming. So they produce it. So that's their money. I'm just saying, I'll lean more towards Sony because Disney fucking... Uh, uh, the sh- yeah, the shit... The well, shit, 95%. The shit Disney... Like, okay, this what... I feel like Marvel got creative control... But Sony making their money. You know what I mean? It's they shit. It's they like, property. I feel like Disney should still make some. If I look, if I give you shit to make the, with my money, it's my money, but you're I making see, it. See, that's why I say Disney different. and Sony are both. They wrong. both in the wrong in the way. In but, isolation, Disney's right. Yeah. In isolation, they should get more money. But when you take into account all the other IPs they make, they don't need the money. Yeah, like, they, Sony, Spider Man's their big IP. Besides that, they got James Bond, which nobody gives a shit about yeah. anymore. While Disney, they got all them fucking trash ass live action movies plus the MCU. And Star Wars. And Star Wars and fucking, you know, all the Fox shit they just bought, like Terminator and shit. Goat. Like, bro, if I make it, if you knew I could create shit, but you put giving me all the money to do it, like, what, what, who gonna get the most money out of it? The person spending the most money? Yeah, or who, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, bro, but I you gonna it. still get a bigger percentage than five. <laughs> bro, you know how much, y'all think a five percent is a little? Y'all, bro. T- no, no, I'm saying in retrospect, if five I give you a dollar, you take 25% of that shit, I just got 75 cent, nigga. Like, nigga, they take 25%, not five percent. I yeah. said 25%. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, they only get five, though. And they take 
Five. Ten, if I give you a dollar and you only leave percent, me with five percent, I get five. See, wait, pennies. hold on. With twenty, yeah, with twenty-five percent. That's, like, that's the thing. I'm talking about Let's dollar. Like, you take twenty-five wait. cent, you get seventy-five. Bro, if, no, five. no, B. No, if five percent. So if you take, if you give me a dollar. I'm only getting five pennies yeah, of that I dollar. If you take, no, but I'm talking. I'm just talking so, twenty five. Look, thing, that's though. a lot of money. Taking five percent is a lot from okay. Money. Give them that's ten or fifteen then. I'm not that's giving them shit. That's their shit. Disney I made you money. No, y'all. I made you bigger than what you no, was. No, look at it as a billion. I made you. Disney took twenty five percent of what Far From Home has made so far. Sony would still get more money than they had for like three out of the last. No, but four then you gotta look trailer. at. But look, we still also when you see that you are gonna look at how yeah. Marvel. How you Marvel. cannot tell me ninety. You getting five percent is something. Bro, look, I'm putting all my. I'm producing this shit. It's my shit. Yeah, okay, it's wait, so wait, wait. Who's you the make, you got Who's so the many writer? avenues of making no, more money. No, Disney wanted to also. They wanted to co finance. They want to so that, that means Sony wasn't going to pay for the movies by themselves anymore. Oh, see? Oh, they Disney definitely need a bigger percent. But Sony, I know, but look, but Sony not for to give them that much shit. They want this day shit. We know Sony is not. They use Spider-Man for shit. They fucking PS3 had the whole fucking Spider-Man. I mean, yeah, the Spider-Man there hasn't been a good Spider-Man, Spider-Man one or two since the first Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. We're talking about, they talking about money, not how good the fucking... We, hey, we but guess what? Business. We made y'all more money business. by coming over to us. Therefore, give us a little more chunk that y'all wouldn't have had if y'all was making it no, by yourself. No, nigga, they not making no. They like nigga, y'all creating our shit, we producing it, right? Y'all want okay. more shit? See, I think I, the 50-50, that was ridiculous. Twenty five percent. I don't think they don't have shit. Twenty five percent is good look, if bro, you're also co financing. Look, if you're also putting your B, money up look, with it too. B, that's like having like the y'all know the golden gun and the old no. 007 game. Oh yes, everybody wanted that gun. Yeah. That's the only thing they have is fucking Spider Man, bro. They can't just give that shit up like that. That's why I'm like, don't give I it understand. up. Just give me a bigger percentage. No, that's I make fucking, you, I make you more money than you would have had I'm before. Just give me the little percentage. No, but I'm looking at it at a business standpoint. I'm not gonna give you that shit, bro. It's not but happening. You mean, I'm you lucky. I'm giving you five percent, bitch. Yeah. I'm giving you. Hey, you think, bro, you lucky. I gave you a billion dollar movie. Right, what look, you talking about? The business better. Fucking Marvel got their whole creative thing. But who's promoting the business better? Marvel. What you mean? Like, yeah, it's Marvel. Which side is promoting the better? Marvel. Sony. Uh, d- Who's putting the money up the market to shit? Sony. Yeah, but without the promotion, would that shit sell? Sony promotes their movies when they had Spider Man. We knew that shit was coming out. We just was tired of this shit. It was everywhere. All on our fucking and video games, our shit, cans, hey, if posters. Spider Man is a really big fucking thing. All right, He's what, a goat. We wanted wait, to wait, get. Huh? Sony. Sony. That's why they think Sony said no, because they was like, we put out this fucking piece of shit movie that made eight hundred million dollars. Yeah, bro, they gonna make their money, bro. Like, yeah, we, like if Spot, yeah, Spider-Man but with goes Disney, they gonna Sony, make more money. Fuck like Disney, bro. Mo Disney money. are hoes, bro. Mo I money, not side less with them problems. Niggas. Fuck right, Disney. So more money. Better, right? Yeah, and Spider Verse. Right, so we not gonna get a good blade because of Disney. Them niggas don't want to put out no rated R content. Fuck Disney, bro. They can suck a cock. I mean, I Nigga, Blade like not an R rated hero. We'll need one. No, we don't. Yes, we do. His best comic. Who do we is need that's R-rated. R-rated? Who do you want as R-rated villains? I mean, R-rated no, but I don't care about that shit. I'm uh, about, all I brought it was Blade. Logan was good. I don't care nothing about none Logan of that shit. was good. I don't give a fuck about. Yeah, I don't give a fuck Logan, about none of that. Fucking Deadpool too was fucking ass. I don't care about none of this superhero shit at all. I just want to see uh, Disney get the fuck off them niggas nuts, bro. That's they shit. Stop sucking. Yeah, like Sony gonna shit, take bro. them back Stop and. So they, wait, you've been watching them. So, so you've been watching them suck their nuts now. Oh, see, he's trying to get. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you trying to take my percentage? <laughs> no. They gonna Shoot, pop out. That <laughs> That's the thing. Like at the end of the day, the it's only people who co- lose is the bro, fans. At least fifteen to twenty-five. That's like, too much. Give me fifteen to twenty, and, I, and I'm putting my money in. That's like too much. the fans Come lose because oh, Disney look, is going. You putting in? Le- you Disney's losing less money, good, and Sony is going. Like Sony could keep putting out their piece of shit Spider-Man movie. They still gonna make a little money because he's. Like him making seven hundred million dollars, that's an embarrassment. But for them, that's seven hundred million. And look, it's so much information we don't even know about this, bro. Of course. So it's like I'm just gonna speak on. What we I'm know. gonna as being a business standpoint, bro. Other than that, it's so much shit they they, they I deal see with. Is Disney made it more popular now that they came out with Venom, and yeah, they made a lot of money because everybody was anticipating it, but it wasn't that good. See, so if, now, if Venom and Spider and Vitaverse didn't do so well. 
this this negotiating tactic probably would have worked, but since they did, Sony was feeling themselves. I feel like Sony's about to f up with these Spider. Well, they, they didn't f up. Disney the one. Who, no, I feel like they're about to. Disney f up the one Spider, who said Spider give us more. Sony was fine with keeping the same arrangement. It's di- no, I'm saying so. Niggas shouldn't sequel. be mad at Sony. Niggas should be mad yeah, at di- at Alan Horn from fucking Disney. But everybody but been you. talking about only thing. I just been hearing nothing but Disney slander and Marvel slander, not Sony. Niggas been talking about how they even I don't know. No, at much first about, niggas was on Sony. Just because it had popped the time up, that's gone but by as and we more information about the came out. Shit. More information came out. It's been more fucking. It is Disney annoying Marvel. though, cause niggas acting like Sony's like a little studio or something. Like, yeah, like nigga, they're one of the biggest studios on the planet. Like nigga. what the yeah, like the PS4 is the most fucking profitable fucking console that's of what all I'm time. Saying. The GOAT like, country they got too. Money. It just like, and they just bought Insomniac, so GOAT. only only Marvel was making money off of the first Spider Man game, but since they own Insomniac, now they get the money off that. Plus however many PS5. Wait, was, so how is Marvel making the money off of it? Because they own the merchandise rights for video games. So Sony gets it because it's a game on their system, but they don't get the money off of the, the, game. Off the game. Hey Marvel, y'all trying to hire me for like pop designs or like what? So I'm like cooling, bro. Like fucking Disney are devils, bro. Like yeah, watch Why? But they get my money with that. Hey, I'm trying to Jewish, dance bro? with the devil, B. I'm Thanks. trying to dance with the devil if I'm getting a good movie, bro. What are you gonna do with the devil? What am I gonna do? Tell him to put out a good Spider-Man movie. Mm. But I'm just speaking on. I'm not speaking as a fan. I'm just business wise. Like a fan, okay, we're gonna get a better movie. I'm speaking as a fan and the end of business wise. No, I'm speaking as a fan. Like, I don't movie. care about the superhero shit. I'm burning. Hey, look, either shit. way, they got more money than me. I they feel like we got the last good Marvel movie that, that's gonna be really straight as fucking far from home. I'm sorry. You don't think the third one's gonna be good? Not a nigga. It's that's not if we get it. I believe we are. That that is because we have of, a we have a whole bunch of time before they try to release well, a third one. Tevin is very excited the for the Joker movie. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. It got a ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. My girl gonna hate it. Niggas was hey, saying IGN's got a ten out of a ten. Niggas was saying it's it's pu- it should be an publicity. Oscar hopeful, and it that is it's good for when the it white, out? the Friday? white next month. They showed it at the Venice Film Festival though. But them but, niggas, they yeah, like that's it. rare. Them niggas like everything at first when they first. Yeah, see it's it. like how at Cannes niggas be fucking raving, losing their minds over trash. But when they show Blue Velvet, niggas was like, get this shit. They just they do that shit because they the first ones that see it. Hey, I just want to announce on the last podcast we did. I was shilling for Star Wars 9 a little bit. Uh, more plot leaks have come out. If they are to be believed, it will be trash, just like <laughs> Force Awakens and all of the prequel films. Are you Thank saying you. that J.J. Abrams is a bad director? J.J. Abrams should be crucified on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. But why he crucified? To be raped. He has never made anything Whoa. good his entire life, and he deserves What about death. Star Trek, bro? What about what? Star, Star Trek. Trek? I never seen Star this Trek shit. is garbage. Uh, <laughs> Mission Impossible Three is the only bad Mission so Impossible what is, movie. What is the one good redeeming quality of J.J. Abrams? His glasses. That he's a fucking yes man. And studios bring studio. He's the nigga studios bringing. They like do all this, and he's like, you got it. No, J.J. Abrams is the uh, perfect like example. Of, it's not who you know, it's who you blow. Five dollars right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had enough of you, bro. <laughs> you getting away with that? But yeah, no. If, I, if that shit I read is true, those leaks, the new leaks I read, they disgusted me. I you should. I hit the group chat right after I read them while I was still in the bathroom. I was like, yeah. "Fuck this movie. I do not care." <laughs> Nigga, they're, if they're true, they're awful. That movie is gonna be like fucking. I'm, not, I'm only hype for one thing from Star Wars: The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. Nigga, you don't care about the Obi Wan Kenobi show. I don't I know if they, they show that nigga throw hands with Vader, I'll watch it. Oh, if I, any Vader, bro, I'm if mind. they have a Vader show, yeah, somebody said they man. should make a Vader show. It's just him like going out, pretty much the beginning of Force. Can Unleashed. it be the time between like, but without uh, like, episode three and four? Yeah, without the annoying mm. Star Killer nigga, like Force Unleashed, the beginning when he goes into that one island, sees that one nigga, he's like, Fuck yeah, my him? my homie told me in the comics. Vader is a beast. I hope that they show him when he goes after the younglings. I want to see that. You talking about like he didn't? Uh, yeah, when he's like, he was like, uh, Master Skywalker, what would we do? And then nigga just, Zing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't hold on. This is one part in the Vader comic. All right, listen. He's trying to take down the like rebel uh fort or something, mm-hmm. and he crashes his ship right in like the desert, and all the niggas, all the rebel niggas are around him. They're like, Hey Vader, you surrounded, nigga? And he's like, Yes, I am surrounded. By dead men. And he just fucking puts his saber out. Next page. Them niggas are all dead. Yeah, Vader's a You know, Darth Vader a god. But anyway, Rogue One Is he sucks. one of the best movie villains ever? Yeah. Top five? When was the, when was the last scene was in Rogue One? Yeah, that fucking That trash. was the best scenes he was in. That the was the only good scene in, in that movie. was him. 
That last scene. I used to really like end? Rogue One. I hate that movie now. It's like Solo, but worse. B, did we go get to see? Did yeah, you we see, went it? see it together with the God Dare? That shit you was horrible. That, I said horrible. That shit was fire. Now we started go to. Boy. It was my second favorite Star Wars movie for a little bit. What? Then oh, I watched what? it after Solo came out. I watched it again, and I was like, these Solo characters weren't good. These are all one characters are somehow. Worse. I haven't even seen Solo. Me neither. I like Solo. And I like Charles Gambino. Oh, I know you're in love with him. So. No, oh, he whoa, was, no, he, let me tell you, he was horrible. Man. He was he? Horrible. He's not a good actor. Mm. He's good in Atlanta. Atlanta he gets yeah. to play himself. Jeez. Sorry, Childish. He's I mean, a very Lakeith talented Stanford, guy. Not really a good actor either, though. So it's cool. Who not? Lakeith. You're fire. He might be later, but you know, he, sorry, actually, Lakeith. he's good in that movie with Brie Larson. What about Sorry to Bother You? Well, uh, short twelve, short I think it's twelve. Like that's like he was that, a short film. That movie is fire. That's when it was in high what school about Sorry to Bother You? What about Sorry to Bother You? Hey, fuck Black Klansman too, by the way, and fuck John David Washington. I was that nigga. Fuck, he he was. I in was that, saying fuck Black Klansman. He was, he was in that Intel Pro movie. Just so he could be the lead in Christopher Nolan's next he movie. He was sucking the cock of black hands. You said first. it was good. I said it was, I didn't like it. You no, liked it. No, you said I didn't like I liked I didn't like it, but it was a good movie. The message was just bad. And I was like, what? Bro, you hadn't sent me the Cointel Pro links. I had to look it up on my own. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. All fuck, right. How fuck, y'all feel about uh Moon Fuck Night? both of those movies. How y'all feel about Moon Knight and She Hulk? I I'm excited to see Moon Knight, even if it's Show. show even if it's not R rated, because one of his best runs in the comics, he he was like not really killing niggas. If they lean into the mental health stuff and they don't even have to do a bunch of murder, it could be him just like doing his mental health shit, which was he. She Hulk will be cool because she gonna have some fat green titties and a big fat booty. <laughs> yeah, you almost said something gay. <laughs> yeah, Tim's a fag. I'm gonna start some Moonlight. She Hulk. Is both of them or they all three of them shows are coming? No, they're not in a show together. I heard that uh, She Hulk was supposed to be introduced through like Spider Man and stuff like that. Oh yeah, they were saying she would be introduced in three. I was thinking in three, then they might have had like something where niggas put uh, Peter on trial. Yeah, that's what my a, homie there's said. a story. Yeah, where he's on trial for like something happened. Niggas was like, "This nigga Spider Man caused my injuries." You know, like you remember uh, Incredibles, Incredibles one when they say that nigga from killing himself. Oh yeah, the, he, he should have killed that injuries. nigga in that court. He should have choked the shit out of him. Nah, she's a lawyer. she's a lawyer. Yeah, I know she's a lawyer, but I thought she was like. Nah, she was in the Fantastic Four once, but that was it. Okay, okay. Are yeah. y'all ready for a Fantastic Four that, movie? She got that fat booty. Bro, no. If if they that's your favorite that's your favorite group. B. The two mm. people they was talking about doing. <laughs> <one, laughs> One of them would be a great director for it. The other one would be awful. Because one was Brad Bird, the nigga who did Incredibles and Iron Giant, and Iron which Giant, is trash. That trash movie that Chase like. I Bro, love Iron Giant. Doesn't Iron live Giant up. is fucking awful. I love Iron That Giant. movie is one of the worst movies I've seen. Growing up, when I had to watch But yeah, Brad Bird, he did that. He did Mission Impossible 4 and he did Incredibles, which is why people say that's a good, you know, Fantastic movie. Four movie. So is he Nas? Yo, that movie is fucking awful too. Y'all heard me? Is he Nas? No, he has a nigga. Incredibles is a gas pack. Nah, oh my nigga is a gas Mission pack. Mission Impossible Four is a gas pack that came out in 2012. Oh, what y'all say was the other Illmatic? I mean, the other the other good Nas album, Stillmatic, something like that. No, Illmatic, and it was written Stillmatic. Yeah, Life see, is good. two good albums and Lost Tapes. That's five good albums. Okay, <laughs> what about the person that you just said? Bless nigga, you. Brad Bird had made two. His last what good movie came seconds? out five years ago. The only that only works for a director who came out made two good movies and then trash after. So like, Zack Snyder. Hey, except please don't three, say anything with BVS. Three hundred is not even really good though. So hey, can y'all really see that uh, Office nigga playing? Uh, what you call it? Mr. No, Mr. I don't. Bro, that's the worst. Niggas need to shut the fuck up. Hey, they, they said he was supposed to be Captain America. I can't Ooh. see it. The oh, nigga, yeah, he tried to be Captain. The he nigga from tried the out. Office. Wait, Steve Carell? Have y'all, y'all seen, no, uh, Jim. Uh, Jim. Have Who's y'all Jim? seen Always Sunny in Philadelphia? He's going to play a fantastic. Uh, he's going to play Mr. Fantastic. Tevin, you seen Always Sunny? The new season? No, have you seen a show, though? Yeah, facts. You know, Dennis, he almost plays Star Lord at Garden. Yeah, Garden. I heard about that shit. That's horrible. <laughs> Which one is that one? Dennis is the t- he's, he's the not, crazy He's dude. the one that's, uh, yeah, the crazy one. The, the, hey, the he need one. to play Adam Warlock, bro. The one with the hair slicked back. The golden guy. Yeah, the the one that's like the fucking goofy one. But yeah, in the show, he's the golden guy, bro. Wait, him and the lady really him married in real life, huh? Is he in that movie with him and Ice? No, King nigga, that's that's what, that's the short one. That's that's uh no, nigga. Oh, uh, fight, school fight oh, or some hey, shit. Hey, I saw that in theaters. 
Why? You are nasty. <laughs> you are nasty. Hey, turn free. this mic off. I'm plugging. <laughs> bro, we saw it for free. Okay. I don't believe you. We you need wait, more people. Did someone wait? Did someone buy it for you? No, we sneaked in. Oh, okay, good. That was you remember car mics and like uh, nigga, your nipples out of your shirt. Oh yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, I'm bro? sorry, B. I forgot. Chase, he need to pay ten dollars now. <laughs> gay. I don't know, what was flashing us? <laughs> I think we're done. Here. Well, I'm trying to get some uh, what those shits called? Some uh. <laughs> It's just a New Orleans trip. Oh, oh you talking about Tazlin? So no, 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 Mardi Gras. Nigga, I didn't lie. My shit was tough. My shit was tough. Wait, hold up. Why was you looking at me and you saw my nipples? That was the first thing you talked about. You didn't address me as a man and say. I forgot to tell him. All right, guys. That's about the end of the podcast.